All right. <laughs> we start off the Elden Ring stream by this game of chess. Obviously, it's this. Which moves into this. Nope. No. Okay. Uh, what? Yes, I did it. All right, we should be on Aaron the Arrow. <laughs> Make sure the stream is running good. I did it. Okay. Yeah, we look to be running good. Alright. So the problem was yesterday... Controller was not having it. And it just would not connect to the... Not connect to the thing. So, there's a skip that I found. I uh, mean, it's probably pretty... You could fall right here onto this rock. Fall all the way down and skip the... Maiden guys. But I'm just going to run and kill them because they should be pretty easy. Should, should is the, the word of the day there, you know. Ow. That actually hurt. Hey. Okay. But yeah, you can skip these guys like they're not actually re uh, required uh let's see i don't even remember how i f or why how or why i found it perfect i should be able to reach him i believe i have yeah Okay. Yep. Don't feel like dying to these guys. Or getting hit by them. So the only thing is, this is a double fight. This is, uh... Two... Enemies at once. And if there is anything that... Bows are bad at... It would be a two and one. Fight. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> if there's anything that bows are bad at more than just regular fights, it's fights against more than one enemy. <laughs> but I think we'll be alright. Uh, these guys are pretty weak. Alright. That's not cool, though. I don't like that. I don't think there's any items over there. I'll just heal once. I don't... That shouldn't be too big of a deal. I think the ground is false. Yeah. Uh... And you guys... Get all of these. I'm, I'm sure I'll use them at some point. I mean... There's no way I don't end up using them. Someone cop that out and <laughs> clip that. Have the same amount of butt and cave moss from the beginning to the end. Okay. Oh. So these guys are a wee bit tankier than I thought. I didn't think they had that much HP, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Okay. Maybe? Th 
Maybe they're poisonable. <laughs> okay. Hear me out. Although, they're literally just metal... Like... Boxes. So, if they are poisonable... Then this is... Okay, you can hit them in that. Uh, in that thing when their box is open. That's weird. That's gonna miss. Hey, stay back. So hold on. I don't think these guys, I think these guys are immune to poison. Yeah, so I think... Looks like I'm better off just hitting him with the regular arrows. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, yeah. Hey! I was not expecting him to come that close. Listen here, buckaroo. This guy, they, they literally know how to sidestep. They can sidestep. I'm out of flasks. I am indeed out of flasks. And I'm one shot. I gotta stop getting greedy. Ah! <laughs> He's so low. Okay. Okay, hold on. They're, yeah, they're immune to poison. They're weak to lightning. We can fast travel here. So... Lightning arrows. I feel like the lightning arrows are right... They're up here, I think. Do we even have all the Dexus Medallion? We don't even have the Dexus Medallion pieces. Hold... On a frick frack in second. <laughs> this run was doomed from the start. We're jumping the gun. <laughs> First off, this bow, like its one reason for existing is useless against these guys. I mean, obviously I could have just played it safe and ran through... Or, like, did it anyways, just, you know, being super slow, all that stuff. I actually, I need these blood roses. This is the one time where I actually do need all the blood roses in here. Because they make the uh, bleed arrows. So, yeah, this time and this time alone, they're needed. But every other run, they're like, nah, it's not that important, actually. I don't remember if that is the actual... Uh... I don't remember if that was the actual... Alright, buddy. Oh my goodness! What was that? Listen here. I don't 
care about your uh, proposal. I don't need it. I actually don't even need to kill that guy. He drops Bloody Slash, which... Uh, <laughs> there is not a bow in the game that can Bloody Slash, so... It's pretty, ob it's pretty obvious that I don't think we need that. Okay, we're at, we are going to drop back down, though. Just so that I can get the... Actually, can I... Never mind. I'm going. There's a smithing stone. One in there. I don't really need that. Uh, but we do need the other half of the Dactus Medallion, which is somewhere up here. So we're just going to go here, get the map. Ooh. Ooh. Also... The thing I did dodge, because I knew I was going to come back for a couple other things. So I ran a slightly different path than I normally do. We have to get the 8 and 9 uh, Somber Smithing Stone. Hey man, what's up? Yeah, you're right, I haven't seen you in a long time. Although I haven't been able to stream and make videos like I wanted to for a little while. But it was good to see you. It's good to see you. Let's see. So he should... Okay. I, sh I think I should have... Yeah, I should have him on lock. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, die? Oh. Oh, I was about to say. Don't waste my time. I got that map, right? Yeah. So... What we're in need of right now is actually lightning arrows. And to get those, we're going to get the Dectus Medallion pieces. And then we can actually fast travel from on top of... What is it? I forget what that place is called. The castle area. What we can do is go up the castle area. My goodness. Ugh. <laughs> The Academy. We'll go up to the Academy, and then you can go across that broken bridge to the teleporter. We'll teleport to the uh, bottom of the Dectus Medallion, do a little run, uh, go up. We can actually get the Ritual Sword Talisman while we're up there. But the main thing we're after is those Lightning Arrows, so that the Virgins are easier. Plus, we're going to need to get all arrow types anyways, so I don't really see a point in not going for it. And then, I th might want to also get my hands on the short bow, because the short bow allows us to do, is it the short bow that allows us to shoot in the air, and it's like raining arrows? I forget what it's called. It might not be the short bow, because I know it's not the long bow. <laughs> That's the mighty shot. Uh, but we want to use uh, the bleed aspect to actually kill the dragon. Uh, and we can do that with enough of a couple things. I don't actually have the beast uh, torch, but it's, it should be alright. <sighs> because we'll just die after this. Like We'll just get the thing, get the Radagon uh, sword seal, and then we'll just die. Run! I don't think we should get poison. Actually, no, we shouldn't get poisoned. Because it can only hit for four ticks. Two in each little wave. Okay. Uh, but we do have the Dectus Medallion pieces. Perfect. So that allows us to do the... To ride the Dectus lift. Now we just need to get... I'm sure there's something else that I'm missing. And I keep... It's like popping in and out of my mind. Uh-huh, rat. Okay. So these guys are going to kill us. But... It's alright. Because story. Oh! <laughs> we actually didn't die. I don't know, I don't know if I've ever not died to that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
And done. Flask. I can add a charge, but I actually need... At this point, I need the tears. So what we can do... Well, first off, actually, main academy gate. We're gonna go across the way, head to the left. There's actually a tier in the church on the left. But I don't know if I want to use the ritual sword talisman or the arrow, the reach thing. Something tells me that the arrow reach is I don't know if it's going to be more useful for only specific bosses so I might it might just be swappable like if there's a boss that is always in your face but you need to get shots off the reach is not going to be that good although if there are bosses that tend to attack in range that's probably going to be when we're going to use the reach arrow talisman But I'm also skeptical in not using it because <laughs> knowing me, I feel like I might just forget. <laughs> I might just forget I have it. Like I'll be fighting the boss. God, I can't hit him. I'm uh, too far away. I got to get close. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a frick fracking second. Okay. So now we just have to ride the Dectus lift, which I actually, can I make bleed arrows? I can, okay. So that happened. I think these can't hit us anymore, but that one on the left is the issue. Psych. <laughs> yeah, you gotta bait it out. You gotta bait him out. I don't think he can hit us from here now. Yeah, he lobs it way over. Alright. So... What was I talking about? I just... Oh yeah. Item crafting. We need to get the... Uh... Bone... Peddler... Thing, right? Because it's thin... Yeah, thin beast bones and blood roses... Okay, so we can go kill that dude that pops up. I forget what his name is. Uh, he pops up at nighttime where Bernal used to be. Although Bernal isn't there anymore, I don't think. Okay. Uh, yeah, and yes, I do know that I missed the skip up to Volcano Manor, but at the same time, it's alright. I don't think I gave her the necklace. I'm not sure... In my last run, what activated the castle area was us going up here and actually defeating this person uh, inside of these runes. I don't know why, because... I did, I mean, I even went up here once. I just didn't go into any further areas. I don't know if the game doesn't really register that you've been here until you get a grace or. No, that's not possible. It, probably you just have to leave the little area that I was in. It was that little circle at the lift that I didn't leave. Okay. So we'll hit him with poison. Ow. Ooh. Okay. Perfect. Hey! Hey! I'm trapped inside of her right now. Headshot. No. No headshot. 
Okay. He's still poisoned, but... Man. The poison effect is so low damage. And I'm pretty sure... Isn't this... Is this deadly poison? I feel like it is. Or I feel like it has to be. Yeah. Yeah. No. There's no way this is dead. I refuse to believe this is deadly poison. You know? Hey. Die. I refuse to believe that's deadly poison. But th at the same time... Heavy poison buildup. Is heavy poison different from... I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, <laughs> guys. I'm, I'm at a loss here. Heavy, is it just heavy poison buildup because the amount of poison buildup is large per shot? Is that why? Or is there a different reason to use that particular term? Who knows? <laughs> Who actually knows? So, we're just going to head up here. Uh, and then we're going to head to the left. Instead of straight through. Because that's where the trader is, I believe, that has light. I know it has the lightning pots, at least. I don't know about the lightning arrows. But I know the lightning pots are up here. So, I'm just assuming that they're going to be from the same trader. And if not... We'll look it up, because who cares, <laughs> I guess. Let's see, I don't know, this game is way too big for you to not have, like, internet and not uh, use some things to your advantage on the internet, like, the uh, knowledge-wise. It's just too big, like, I don't know. And a lot of things they try to keep secret from you. There's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that they try to hold... You know, in, in corners of the map, behind walls. <laughs> I mean, you either have to spend your entire life playing this game or have the knowledge of all players at your fingertips. Uh, on this bridge, though. If... If it doesn't... Well... That's a long shot, anyways. If it doesn't actually have it... I'm willing to bet money at, that this trader does. Watch. Let me let me get this grace just in case. I'm willing to put some serious doubloons down that this guy does sell. Flask, tier... What's up to three? My goodness. I think I'd already be at like eight by now. Purchase... Ah. <laughs> ah. I see. All that money I put in is useless. Ah! Okay. So, 50 arrows just for my time. But he only sells bolts. He only sells bolts. Okay. So, ah. Uh. You're right, you do have very little to offer. Let's see. Mm. Then where are the lightning arrow blueprints? Lightning arrow. Lightning bone arrows. 90 lightning damage. Ancient Dragon Cookbook 1. Hey, cat. What are you doing in here? I swear, I might be in my room for hours. Door closed, like I'm doing my own thing. And then all of a sudden, my cat pops up out of nowhere. Door never opened, and the cat's right there. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I was alone in here for hours. Ancient Dragon Cookbook gives you... 
the ability to craft all three. The wind Windham Catacombs. Oh, wait, is that... Okay. Oh, my God. The Hold on. <laughs> this map. Turn it all off. We're looking for... Okay, but that doesn't help at all. Do, uh, locations. That's the Lux Ruins. So... Okay, I don't have a map. I don't have a map, so I can't see over here. It's right above the Lux Ruins, though. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> no! It's, it's the ones that I was... Thinking about, it's, it's freaking the one up here. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure this is also the lightning. Uh, I need all the Altus Bloom I can get, I think. I'm pretty sure that's also the lightning scorpion charm. Which, we need to get all those. We need to get the fire, the lightning, holy. Uh, crap, I'm sure there's others. I don't know, we just need to get set up on every front because we're gonna be fighting a lot of bosses. So we're gonna we're, there's gonna be a lot of resistances and non resistances we're gonna have to go through. Hello. And goodbye. Let's see. Uh this thing, right? This should be the Windheim Or it's Win Windheim, Winham, Catacombs? Yes. Shoo! Alright. Uh... I don't know... Hey. I remember that. I don't know how far or what I have to do to actually get them. Glove, ghost... Ghost Glove Wart. I don't need that. Okay. I don't 100% remember. Did it actually just get stopped? Ugh. This battle. Dude! Quit it! With your nonsense! Like, the way that they, like, turn over. Okay. Uh! Die. Die. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> Some things are way more difficult than they used to be right here. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Excuse me. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, hold on. On a body in a room behind rusted bars in the sewers can be reached by going under the raising floor in the room with the spike ceiling. I remember this. I remember this. We don't have to kill anybody. 
Gosh dang it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a long sip of drink before I do anything. Uh. All right. Take one real long, real sad sip. And we're back into it, baby! I just wish I had a bow that did not more damage, was faster, which would be the black bow. That's what I need to get my hands on, is the black bow. Run! Basically, don't dilly-dally with these guys is the... Ah! Uh, I don't want to deal with you. Perfect. Not perfect. Go 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 go! <laughs> oh my gosh! Stay down there. Okay. Ah! Quit it! Please! I don't mean to scream, but please! I don't want to have to deal with this more than once! Okay, hold on. Listen here, buddy. Ah! No! Okay. Uh. Ah! Here's what we do. We run up to that spiky area. We walk in, uh, and then walk right back out. I think. I think that's how you do that. And that's the only way, only way I would think to... You have to I'm, it says under, so you have to like bait it out, maybe? Uh, I don't know. We, we could do this. Just don't die. Ooh. Ooh. What? I don't even want to know what kind of tomfoolery you managed. Get me out of here. Okay. So we just need to bait this guy. A good ways over here. Go, 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 go. Uh, he's actually not that fast. He was way faster before, I'm telling you. He was right on me. Okay. Dodge this guy. Set this room off. That's how you do it. Oh, but where do you go afterwards? Oh, never mind. Oh, I thought it was that I was gonna get crushed. I thought I was so dead. And perfect. That. What is happening? With these crabs! Can you open this door? It's this! Open! 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 Okay. Not sure what that does, but... I'm oh my gosh! I've never stepped on that because I don't go towards the through the middle here. Jump him! Jump! We jumped at the same time! <laughs> We jumped at the same time. Yes, yeah, someone clipped. I gotta put that in the. We both went in the air at the same time. I tried to jump him and he went up at the same time. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay. Item crafting. Fulgur Bloom. Okay, wait. Oh wait, so that wasn't the stuff that I was pick what was I picking up? What? Uh Inventory Alt Altis Bloom. Okay, okay. Well, that's okay because I know where some of that lightning stuff grows. I know there's some up here, but I know that's relatively annoying to get to. So if we go to Fort Faroth, go up towards that tree guy and just run past him. Because I remember every single time I would fight that guy, uh, I would end up going into the lighting area. And it killed me like three or four times because, you know, I would always fight him really early on. Because that's a free 100,000 plus runes. Like, come on. <laughs> you can work your way through that. But it's just kind of like patience early on. And then you would just be like, I don't know, two-thirds of the way done with the boss. And then all of a sudden you would just see lightning strike. You would take some damage. And then you would just get absolutely bonked by the that, that huge branch the guy has. Is it, is it a branch? Oh, yeah, it's a, no, that's, actually, that's like a stone spear thing. I don't know. Th this, right? Yep, okay. That is perfect. So I'm actually, since I'm up here, I'm going to go get the... Uh, I'm just going to go get the rune. No. I spent so much time thinking about what it was called. <laughs> the grace up here. I'm going to go get the grace. Come here. You... Oh, there's an eight here? Where's it at? Oh! oh. Ooh, that was almost my death. Perfect. Let me see how many arrows I can make. Uh. I think the. F what is the. F oh, no, there's a bone arrows. What did the what did the Fletch do? They probably fly farther. Yeah, okay, okay. But you need the bird feathers. I don't have any bird feathers, so you know that's that. Oh, the beast bones. It's the beast bones. <sighs> Alright. I'm sorry to do this, but this guy's gotta go. Actually, Bernal's not even here, is he? I'm not killing Bernal. I'm killing the... Yeah, you're here during the day. And then at night, it should be the other guy. Hopefully. Uh... Or not. Let me fast travel back here. Should be. Whew. There you are. Uh, how do you get this guy to pop up? There's a myriad of men to find that tower. It grants not floating. Okay. Pastime, nightfall. It's definitely nighttime. Oh. Oh, there's no one there. Perfect. Okay. This guy sucks. What is he doing? Who is he fighting? Who is he fighting? What is happening? Hey, buddy. He's a ghost. He's fighting a ghost. Okay, there you go. Poisoned. Hey! He uses the, uh... I forget what the weapon's called, but it's really good. 
It's got like a corkscrew attack. Oh, it's so good. It's so much damage. Keep going. Should be able to get him with a third. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Yo! Okay. I don't know why I wasn't expecting him to be able to be poisoned. In my mind, I was like, ah, he probably can't be poisoned. What? There we go. And he should drop the bone peddler. Yeah, okay, bone peddler is bell bearing. So what that allows us to do is buy bones from the twin husk merchant. Okay. Up. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? First off, that, that, that. What's Goss Stock sell? Stormhawk feathers? No. No. Okay. Well, that's pretty pretty awful. Uh, these. Thin beast bones are kind of expensive, though. Uh, yeah, I guess. Item crafting. Let's make all seven. This should be... This should make this fight easier. Okay. Subterranean Inquisition something something something? Question mark? Okay. And we've got the extra level up. Ooh. And this? We're going to do that because I don't think there's enough distance in this entire arena to not hit somebody with. Like, I, I just don't think it's possible to put enough distance between yourself and the boss to actually not hit them. <laughs> what is my physic? Let's go back. <laughs> Anything to save this arrows in time, I, I might as well. Uh, physic. I'm not even using the dex. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I'll just do both. Because I don't have the lightning one yet. I haven't defeated that tree. I'm throwing. <laughs> I'm forgetting all the stuff that I got last night that I wasn't even thinking about. So this will raise my dex and strength by 10. I would say it would probably increase my damage by 20 to 30 is my guess. Per shot. But that's still pretty good. Like, better, it's better than nothing. Oh! That's twice the damage per arrow. And we stunned him. Already got this guy to half HP. Ah, uh, but this thing's got a decent drop off on it. Ah! Ah! We can't survive that! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Why? Why was I? Because I was spamming a, uh, X. I almost said A on my PlayStation controller. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Let me get the rest of these. <laughs> Every single time I fight this boss, I probably need to get all the button and cave moss. Because I'm pretty sure this makes that one soup. The blood soup. <laughs> the thingy that increases your damage by like a raw percentage. Like what if I just... Uh... Doesn't really look worth it. Uh huh. Spin it around. Bad. Bad! Okay. And to keep my eye on, eye on both of them. Okay. Two more. Gets the job done. Done. Now it's just this guy. Perfect. Oh! Not perfect. Okay. If I can stun him, it's game. Perfect. Yeah, it's game. Oh, it does 400 damage a shot. It's so dumb. All right. Finally. <laughs> oh, that took too much effort. That took too much effort. <sighs> okay. So with that... What am I even doing? Ah! I didn't have to kill him at all. Okay. Maxing out on all the arrows I need to get. Buying a bunch of little beast bones <sighs> and we're getting that five <sighs> oh, man. I am just a bundle of knowledge man bundle of knowledge 33 what am I missing arrow wise a uh, bit of fire. I'll just, I'll literally just put the rest into the beast bones. <sighs> I'm throwing so bad. Like, <laughs> I didn't need to do that at all. 43 beast bones. I have to go back here, go up, go back down, get abducted by that abductor again, do the skip to go down. Yeah, I have to do the skip to go down. Okay. I am just a bundle of, of knowledge, aren't I? <laughs> oh my goodness. That dude, that was, I went all the way around to get these electric arrows, do all of this. And it leads me outside, right to where I had been before. <laughs> Did not need to do that. I don't even know what I was thinking. 
Okay. Out of my way. I need to get barrage. Oh, you could... Is it called barrage? Pretty sure it's called barrage. And I know that you can, A, put it on like your longbow, right? Something like that. I don't know where it at, if it's actually on Ash of War you can uh, get or not. Go, 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 go. Alright, perfect. We need to get abducted by this guy again. Do the skip. Get the five. We can get the five before we de uh, defeat... Uh, why do I keep forgetting this there? It's the something duo, but it's the big guy. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I'm. I need to put a, a literally. I need to put a, a counter for how many times I forget the name of this guy's uh of the of the name of this boss in particular, because it happens so often. Okay. This should kill me. Perfect. Um, I tried this method when I was looking for a way down because I thought there was another method of actually getting down and I don't think it was where I thought it was. Although saying that I found it is pretentious because... One, there's probably an easier way to do it, like you could... You could probably make that jump, right there even. Like if you jumped and punched, you know how you keep your momentum for a little bit further when you punch? But what I did was went... Uh, here. Fell onto this ledge. Right here. Not that. Well, maybe that? I'm gonna die! Oh! I didn't heal! Okay. That's it. Because then you step onto this thing. And then I'm gonna cut left. Because I need to get that plus five. I can't remember which roof it's on, but I think it's the one on the right. Over there. Okay. Actually, no, this could be it. That's the six. I need, I need the five. So the five should be on that roof. Jump. Jump. And... That... Was not it. Where's the five? Uh... That's not... Good. Why do I keep forgetting? Why, why does... Why does none of that thing go right? What is that to go right anymore? Hold on, there's one in Volcano Manor, or like this area, I know there is. I refuse to be bested just yet. Somber Smithing Stone 5. One can be found on a corpse hanging off a ledge in Volcano Manor's dungeon after going up the cage lift, turn right to find it. Oh, 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 I know, I know exactly what it's talking about. Never mind. Uh, it is where we came from, obviously. We didn't even need to come this way. It's going to be uh, hanging off the... Like, he's hanging off a really big ledge. Okay, get the stand back. So, it, it means this cage left right here. Ow. 
Hey. Hey. Stay. Right here. I'm sure this this has got to be it. Because if this is not it. Yeah, baby. Is that a place you can drop down to? You would so die from that. I'm sorry. Oh, he's tanky. He's real tanky. And we don't have the sleep pots or... I mean, we have the sleep arrows, but we don't have the sleep pots. For this, so... Uh, what happens when... Okay. I was about to say... <laughs> what happens when uh, this thing goes down? Does he disappear or am I just going to die? <laughs> I'm not sure if this is open or not. And it cannot be open from this side. <sighs> I think there is a way... Okay, hold on. I think there is another grace over here, and it's like in the bottom of this building on the left. I'm pretty sure. So if we get this grace, we should be able to teleport back here, because I don't want to have to have done all this and have to do it again later. Okay. So it should be... Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, these—I forgot how sad these guys are. They just sit there. I need to change my arrow type. Die. I just want to see if I'll get the helmet. Although there's a lot of these guys on here, I probably shouldn't be worrying about it. Should I? Okay, it's right here. Perfect. And look at that. Just like that, we're good to go. Okay. So... We got the five and six. We need to go get the sleep pots. Yeah. Let's go get the sleep pots. But first, we need to level up the bow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't have enough runes. Because, of course, I don't. Uh, 200. It should be two 400, so that should be enough. Two 800s. I, those were threes. I didn't realize. So I need a somber seven, and then I have an eight and nine. Perfect. So sleep pots, sleep pots. They are either here or here. They're in at one of those two places. I don't a hundred percent remember. Smack the mic. And check. Could get beast bones from that guy potentially. Let's go to the closer one first. Because I think they. No, that I feel like that one over there is it actually. I've already been here. Which means it is that one over there. Maybe I can do the parkour? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know if I would have been able to parkour back, so that was probably the right call. Yeah, this... Oh, yeah, there he is right there. It's the guy sitting on the thing. Okay, I remember there. I do remember. Get a couple of runes. This guy right here. Why is he sitting like that? Oh. <laughs> okay. Do I have any pots? Is the question. I've got one cracked pot. I'm going to need a couple more cracked pots. And also some trina lilies and some mushrooms. Alright. So. Trina lilies. Mm. Let's get the crack pots first. We can buy three from this guy. That'll get us up to four. Actually, that should be enough. I'm not sure how much they cost per, though. I have the perfect amount. Ah. This game works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Alright. So what we need is... Crafting. I can make... I need, I need some mushrooms is what I need. I'm going to poison him first. Put him to sleep. And then start laying into him with bleed arrows. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to poison him, and then I'm going to start laying into him with blood loss arrows. Or... Godskin Duo, that's what it is. Godskin Noble... He's weak to bleed. Yeah, so to bleed him, you need 245. He only drops 5,000 runes. Oh wait, that's probably not the right one. Hold on. 50,000 runes. Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, but he's got 10,000 HP. Shoo! Alright. So let's hit a couple of mushrooms real quick. And I do know there's a mushroom spot up here from a consumable run. That was the most annoying part of the consumable run. Was actually having to gather the materials every single time. I don't feel like messing with uh, save states and all that. Okay. Let me just unlock this fast travel. Storm foot catacomb. Item crafting four. I I think one should put him to sleep. I think. Okay. So we're going to do this. Because we're going to need maximum damage. Guest hall. We only need one FP thing. Because the rest of it is going to be us just shooting into him. Hmm. 
Okay. Open sesame. I don't have the... Perfect. <laughs> I don't have the fast travel that's closer to him unlocked, though. Is the only issue. So... Yeah. But... Okay, listen, 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 listen. Perfect. I can't remember if there's a thing that allows you to respawn closer to this place or not. I don't think there is. I think every single time I, I died, I had to rerun the... Oh! Okay. Uh huh. Oh man, that hurts. Two sleeping pots is what you need. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that put him to sleep. I didn't need to do the second one. Uh-huh. Okay. So he just needs to stay poisoned. We're about halfway done with the fight. He is not poisoned anymore. Ah! Cah! Oh! <laughs> oh! We're not able to do enough damage. Huh. Okay. I need... Barrage. I believe it's Barrage. Barrage Elden Ring. Mount Gelmer. Okay, what? What am I even looking for? A Gelmer's Heroes Cave. I mean, sure, but what am I looking for is what I'm saying. Marrow Channel north of Seath Water. See the Water River. Or is it Seath Water? I don't even know where Mount Gelmer is. Ease. Okay. 
I'm assuming Mount Gilmore is this thing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My my memory is shooting back. Hold on. Is that uh up here? Oh, if I'm right. Well, if I'm right, I'm right. That is not the really to it, but because watch down here, past this grace. The map on Elden Ring's wiki is actually the most whack thing ever. This is it right here, I think. It's a thousand different locations, like, all t put together so you can't see anything. And when you turn off locations, it is, okay. And when you turn off locations, it allows you to see nothing. Okay. We've got... Ones. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. We don't have enough. What we can do is level up. We don't want to do the long bow, though. What other bows are there? Bows, Elden Ring. Yeah, Black Bow is the only one that starts with Barrage. Pulley Bow. Albernaric Bow looks pretty good. Where do you get that at? Never mind, you gotta farm it. Pulley bow. Mm. Cannot be infused with ash. All right, man. I guess we're going with the longbow. I guess we're going with the longbow because I mean, there's like no other bow I can except for the black bow. So, we just have to get some spinning stone twos, threes, and fours. Get this thing to like a plus 12. We make sure first off this thing could even get barrage before anything else, so I don't feel like an idiot. Ah! See? Inventory. Usable on light bows. What counts as a light bow? Isn't that like a composite bow? Oh, see, look, there's these bows that I didn't even... Yeah, there's the short bow, the composite bow... Near Bellum Church. Is Bellum Church right here? Yeah. Okay, I know I know where to get it. So I'm assuming it's better than Short bow it oh my gosh. The description for the short bow is the short bow is not a great bow. Okay, composite bow it is. This guy right here. 
It says 3,500 runes. So we're going to have to use a bit of our golden runes. Mm-hmm. Use like three. Uh, perfect. We'll just do that. I don't have enough strength for the composite bow. Ah. I see. Okay. His range is also halved. Whew. My goodness. All right. Do this. Do this. Do this. Maybe that's enough for three levels. I'm not sure. Level up. Oh, it's so good. I'm nine runes away. What? All right. Listen here, buddy. Level up. Three points in strength. Okay, does it? Still scales worse, but it's got a much faster shot, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, Ash of War. Barrage. Strengthen. I don't even have a, enough smithing stone ones. Ah, uh, all right. Let's go get some smithing stones then. Instead of the damage, I think I'm gonna have to get the range. Because the range of this thing is half of the range of the other one. And half is a lot decreased. That's a lot. Oh, wait a minute. How long have we... Let me check something really fast. Okay. Okay, I gotta handle that really fast. Although, I need to make a video... Like a subscriber special, is what I need to do. Um, I'm super happy about... Just hitting this uh, milestone and, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I wasn't expecting to reach this point uh, anytime soon, you know, and just live streaming and playing the games that I love. Uh, it, it, it's really, I'm just, I'm just so proud and I, I couldn't, I'm proud, I'm excited, I'm, just full of joy at this point. <laughs> I mean, you know, I know it sounds dumb, but I I don't know. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. I might do something special for the number thing. I need to actually. <laughs> hint hint at a face cam. Hint hint. Oh man. Uh, I think that's We need one more one, which we're actually going to get from... We're gonna get, I think we're going to get five, actually, from up here, but... Hey! <laughs> what in the heck? Okay. I need you. Most of you guys explode. Oh! 
Ah, what are you doing? What are you going after me for? Man, I didn't do nothing to you. Come on. Unnecessary violence. Alright. Let's get this guy's attention. He's gonna break this for us. What's the range on this thing? Okay, I think the talisman is making it actually bearable. Because I know on a regular run through, this would probably have no range at all, to be honest. Go, 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 go. I still can't. I still can't map. Why is map not mapping? Perfect. Okay. So I can max it out, but I don't have enough twos. I need five more twos. A whole smorgasbord of threes. Okay, so we're going to start from... Here. We're going to get the map, and we're going to get all of the twos and threes up here. That are in those like little circular house thing, Those things right there. And we can actually get the these floating balls. They drop uh, golden rune sixes. Six golden runes. What? Perfect. Yeah, so that's, that's actually a way that a lot of people get uh, runes quickly. Is just running through getting the sixes. Popping them along the way. Okay. Threes. Ah, oh my gosh! Um, let's see. I know there's another one over here. I think. No, I know there is because they. It's like riding the wall. Can we not get sniped? By a crab, lobster thing. Okay. I don't think it's to the right. I'm pretty sure it's to the left. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Land squirt ashes. What the f <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Yo. Who, who named these? What, like, what? <laughs> Yo. Uh, I've totally missed it. Where's it at? I think it's somewhere in here. I'm pretty sure I already went past it. Or at least one of them on accident. Maybe not. Oh, there's some spinning stone threes. What? I've never gotten that particular set. Of spinning threes before. There are so many upgrade materials out here that's actually ridiculous. Here it is. I just be needing twos, not threes. Pretty sure. Actually, I need two more threes, but I need five more twos. Okay, I think there are some twos. If you go like under this bridge and then straight, there's some. And then I know you can head to the left, I think.
Blood Rose. Let me, hold on, let me just make sure something really fast. I'm freaking out about it. I want to make sure my recording software is getting everything. Yeah, okay. I, I, wig, I wig out about that sometimes. Like, I'm like, I know I checked. I know I checked. Ah, oh, I check one more time just in case. Like, and I've already gotten this. Dang it. <laughs> okay, but over here though. It should be past this little church. I'm not actually sure if it has twos or threes in it. You know, like, I'm not sure which it has, but it's somewhere over here. Hmm. There it is. Oh man, you would think I'd be better at this by now. <laughs> twos. We just need two smithing stone twos from somewhere. Uh, we already have the key. Now I'm just gonna head to the island up here. Man, I just need two spinning zone twos. Let me pull them up. Smithing. Stone two. Or not three, two. Heading the wrong way. Okay. Location. Already got that. That's a teleporter. Can I? Okay, where did he just teleport to? I'm assuming he's gonna stay on the island. Is that the gimmick? Yeah. Oh, I don't need a somber too. I need smithing too. Um, Stormville Castle. Hold on. I hate this map. Locations. Materials. What? Not those materials. Wrong materials. Upgrade materials. There we go. That's better. Found on a corpse on the outside of the castle walls. I already got that one. Very top of Rampart Tower. Oh, I do know where that is, actually. Oh, I didn't go left. I didn't go left, which doesn't allow me to go up. Okay, so we have to go to the left side chamber and run backwards. Yeah. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I've got it. Actually, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do know where some upgrade materials are that I didn't get. Because I'm pretty sure I ran past them because the giant was on my butt.
Oh, uh, we just have to run past these guys. Move, move, move. In here. Yep, and this should be twos, right? Yep. He just, he just predicted that. What a beast. What a beast. All right. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, I don't need this. But I do know... You wrap around. Do this extremely hard parkour. <laughs> Here. And to the right. And this allows you to go up. Probably another... Right there. There it is. That's it. And there's a crackpot down there, actually. I think. And that's a Trina Lily, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Come here. I need to sleep. Perfect. Alright, if there's no extra items, I'm just going to do the drop and then get out of here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Golden runes. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. I don't need any more. So... That should be it. Because that gives us what we have. I need one more three. And three more fours. One three and three fours. Hold on. That's an eight. So... Hmm... Huh. We Where can we go? I know Gale. Did we already go through Gale Tunnel? Yeah, we did. Okay, never mind. What if we defeat the person in there though? Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll defeat the dragon in here. Let me test something out really quick. Does... Yes, it does. I'm going to need to swap out... Yeah, it'll run like that. Go. So, I should be able to pump this guy full of lead. I mean, let's get him poisoned first. But. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel you. Why does he just keep... He just keeps doing the same attack? Why? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Holy heck. Ah! Listen, it's not that serious.
Okay, I need to do this. Ah, I keep doing that. I need to make sure that I don't get an extra shot off on accident. Like that. Ooh! No! No! Why is he just sitting on top of me? He just sits on top of me. Okay. I don't need the arrow reach. Let me do this actually. For now. Physic. Problem is 27 arrows. Uh, I'll make do. Hey, I'll make do. We're gonna poison first. Perfect. Do what? Get out of his way. Ah, why? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, get out of his way, and then perfect. We'll just do bleed arrows. And make him bleed, I guess. If he can even bleed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hold on. Move, move, move! He can bleed! Okay, so they're not useless. Okay, this is an easy fight. This is an easy fight. I don't, if, he, if he couldn't bleed, it would be less easy. But the fact that he can bleed... And like that! Alright. As long as he doesn't sit on you... You don't die. <laughs> That's what we've learned. As long as he doesn't sit on you, you don't die. Uh, the issue... Is that he did not give us anything that we actually needed. <laughs> <laughs> that was so useless. <laughs> he gave us nothing. Uh, he gave us runes. That's all he gave us. Okay, fine. I need some smithing, uh, smithing stone threes, and some smithing stone fours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's three smithing stone fours. On a chair in the bank of the o Aonia Swamp. Gosh. <laughs> what a set of words. 21. Uh, 99. Oh, gosh. Oh, I could increase it by 10. I just noticed that button. Don't even. Uh, okay. So it says somewhere in the swamp, this right here. I s oh, never mind. I see what that is. So it's all the way around the swamp area. 
on the bottom of a thing. I mean, that handles our four problem, but the thing is, it doesn't handle the three problem. Although, how many, do we have any fives? We do have some fives. Okay. Well, we've got enough fives to make uh, it to what? Plus 14? And that should be enough fours. So we're just looking for threes. And here's a grace. Perfect. Why didn't it just throw me that far up? Threes. Okay, it looks like we're not going to find them over here. Because these are all higher. Who would have thought higher materials is the problem we're having? Ah, these upgrade materials are too good. Oh. Alongside the waters within Lyurnia of the lakes. Right here somewhere. So we'll just go to this and head down. Man. <laughs> We are really struggling for this when, you know, we could just go get the uh, bell bearing, but nobody has time for that. Even though we're definitely going to have to get it later if we're going to want to use other bows, black bow and <laughs> all of that. But, you know, that's not important right now. We're not thinking about that at the moment. <laughs> so it's somewhere... I did not even know this was here. Trina lilies. Hey. Four Trina lilies. Whoa. That's a lot. That's the twos. I don't need any twos. Wait, where did it say it was? Found alongside... Along the south of the waters within Lyurnia of the lake. Oh, I'm not... Here far enough, I don't think. Uh. Well, don't let no one say I wasn't looking. It might be on the rocks, like up above. Let's check. It says, but it says alongside the water. Why would it say alongside the water if it is not on the bottom? Hold on. Uh, or it doesn't exist. That's my philosophy on this. This thing might just not exist. Hmm. Let me zoom in. Hold on. Okay, it says it is exactly here. Uh, this, my friend, is... <laughs> this, my friend, is not Smithing Stone 2's. <sighs> or Smithing Stone 1. It's wrong on the thing. Are you serious? It's wrong on the thing. Uh, corpse to the right steps of the center. Okay, so we're going to teleport to the Laskar ruins. It's wrong on the thing. I don't know who... Who did that? <laughs> but you're a menace. That's all I've got to say for you. Somewhere here. It's on a corpse. Is what it says. Or not. We're somewhere. It's possible I already got it actually, but I doubt it. 
Yeah, cause I don't even see the corpse. Oh, uh, there he is, right? <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, here's the entrance to the dungeon. Steps of the gazebo. Oh. <laughs> All I had to do was read, and I would have found it. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh. What? Let's go get my runes real quick. So I'm gonna need them for the upgrades. Where'd I die at? Oh. Okay. So we must move quickly because apparently these guys have the ability to move at the speed of light. Okay. Sit down. We fast travel over. Oh. oh, keep smacking my mic. <laughs> so we can get this thing to plus fourteen, I believe. That should be enough. I mean, yeah, we should be okay. Strengthen. Perfect. Oh, okay. So with the 15 or 14, what were we even, we even trying to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleep the guy. We're trying to slump. Yeah. Okay. So. We need to max... On these, we need to make four of these. Oh, okay. I think it's possible now to kill Godskin Noble. So, we can't be hit very often, is the issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to poison him, and then we're just going to smack him with the blood arrows. I mean, just absolutely mollywop him with them. We want to kill him before he... Before he runs out of poison would be best. Because if I have to reapply poison, that's going to be rough. Okay. Okay. Keep it on the warrior jar shard. Uh, spam roll. Okay, we're good. Uh, we can apply the physic on the inside. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah. We can apply the physic on the inside because he is a good distance away. Okay. Oh, I forgot he's got... Uh, I've got the... Yeah, I forgot after a roll. You do the quick... <laughs> yeah, that's so useful. Okay. So here's what we do. We slump him. Does he get sleeped here? Perfect. Check this out. And then, slump him again. He 
Needs two sleep pots. Ah! Slump again. Oh, is he going to bed? Yeah, he's going to bed. All right. Perfect. I'm going to throw the extra one because... Oh! He, he went back to sleep! He actually got slumped a third time! There's no way. <laughs> oh! Oh, bows are easy mode. <laughs> yeah, bows are easy mode. This is actually ridiculously... What is he doing? He's just... Okay. He's, uh, he's not poisoned anymore, though. Maybe we poison him. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Hold on. Listen, hear me out. Okay. We're all good. That was real scary for a second. That was real scary, but I think we're okay. Is he gonna do the, yeah. Oh, man, just get poisoned. Or just die, just do something. You can sleep him three times with one pot each? What? Yo! That's a thing? Also, welcome back, Joel. <laughs> uh, I did not know that was a thing. What do you do? Do you throw the pot? Three times with just one pot each. Well, I threw a... Oh, does it take time to build up? Like, does it... Okay. Um, well, I did get him to sleep three times, though, so that worked out. Uh, let's see. So the reason we did this was so that we can get the plus seven somber stone for the serpent bow. We're going to get the plus seven and then plus eight and plus nine. God skin apostle has more sleep resistance. He might take two. Yeah, it took me apostle. Oh, is he? Is God skin apostle the the lanky guy? I'll have to get more uh, pots so I can actually hold more sleep pots. But at the same time, four did pretty good for this guy. If you hit him right, he just runs through it. Yeah, no, it was weird. Like, I hit him, he starts doing his roll, and then he just stood there for a second. Like, he, he completely canceled his roll animation, and I was like, what is going on? And then a second later, he just falls asleep. And I'm like, oh, okay, I got you. I started freaking out, to be honest. I wasn't sure what happened. Because <laughs> he went right past my pillar that I was trying to hold him at. He... <laughs> All right. I don't know where the seven is, Slender Man. <laughs> yeah, he's the, he's the lanky boy. He does the the thing where he he does that like little dance with his body where he circles around. <gasps> oh god! Oh my gosh! Wait, hold on. 
I need to find... I think there's a sleep. What did I do? I did not mean to do this. <laughs> I did not mean to jump down there. Um... Somber... Seven. Okay. Uh, so maybe let's not lose 50,000 runes? Maybe? Ooh, that's a lot of pots. I never start with, uh, the pots at the... Thing. I either start with uh, the rune, the rune thing for three thousand runes, so I can instantly start buying stuff from the guy, or oh gosh, what's the other one I pick? Maybe the golden seed, uh, something. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what. I used to pick the branch, or not the branch, um, the stone sword key. But, then I realized that there's a lot of stone sword keys when you're just out and about. <sighs> right card, but go up the other way. Okay, okay, I got it. Is my... My runes are in the lava? Are you serious? Okay. Ah! Lanky boy! Get poisoned. Come on. This guy. Okay, hold on. I'm getting sick and tired of this guy. I'm getting sick and tired of him right now. I'm getting sick and tired of him. Fire, go out. What? How long does this fire last? Get the runes. Roll. Roll. Perfect. Go back up. Quick step or bloodhound step. I actually, I need to kill that guy. The knight cavalry. The one that you could cheese. I need to cheese him. Okay. Shredded. I need to get the bloodhound step from him. Go, 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 go. Okay, you can avoid this guy pretty easy. And then I think you roll through this guy twice. But only after he does his... Yeah. Okay. Uh, right card, then the other way. So, what, you just go up and around, right? Because I know there's a teleport. And then there's this one. Get whatever this is. I did not need that. <laughs> Wow, that was so useless. I should have two stone sword keys. Hopefully.
All right. <laughs> I talked a whole lot of smack just now for absolutely no reason. So we're going to go to right card. We're going to unlock the fast travel. Yeah. Oh, right here. Okay. There's one guy I know that sells... The stone sword key. Does this guy sell one? Do I have zero or do I have one? Although, can you put just one in the thing? This guy doesn't even have one. Okay. Uh, I think this guy's got one down here, but I have to run the whole way. Oh, does she? Oh, okay. That's that's way easier than this. I was just going to run all the way down this path. Notice he didn't have one. Go all the way back. I did use one, I think, to get this... Damn it, uh... Wait, no, no, I didn't. What? Oh, I've already got one, so I just need one more. Crap. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it says the double-headed thing. Alright. Well, thankfully, we've got 50,000 runes for it. Uh, one... Okay, so we're just going to head back and run the entire way back. Ugh. Yeah, that's where I got my first one. And I, I haven't used that one yet, so I'll just uh, use these two. Ugh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? I did the shortcut. Okay, so we just take the shortcut, run through. No big deal. Um, what I do need to get, though, is, let's see, does Golden Val work on bows? Like, is there a specific weapon type that it works on? Is it, or is it just damage? Because I wouldn't, li I wouldn't mind getting Golden Val. Although it does take the faith. So you, well, actually, I could use the weapon one, right? The one on, that goes on like a dagger. Because I could Golden Val, do the other thing. It wouldn't be too bad. Although I don't feel like on everything. Okay, okay. So it's just it's just damage in, in general. Got it. Oh, I remember the Stone Sword 7 because there used to be that skip. And they made it a lot harder. The bridge skip, right? Okay. I remember that. Ah! Okay. And then we just... Don't die. I took damage from that. That was bad. Okay, is it this? 10% for 30 seconds. Okay, that's not bad. This is not it. <laughs> this is not it. I think it's back. And I don't feel like... I could farm these guys for the headpiece. Unlock the shortcut there. Ah. <sighs> okay. Listen. Listen. <laughs> we didn't lock the shortcut, so we just have to go... We... Don't have Volcano Manor.
Yeah, I think I remember. It's like in that area I was just at. Oh, man, I don't feel like, yeah, I don't feel like doing that just for, what is it, like 10-15% extra damage when you go mad. I was thinking about doing a one-shot run. I think that would be pretty fun. What, like, you, like, one-shot the enemies and... No, I didn't even... I didn't... I didn't do the, uh... I didn't do the... Oh, gosh. What is it called? Oh, you're right. I was... I was... <laughs> I was right there, wasn't I? <laughs> I was about to say I didn't go to the thingy, so it wouldn't matter. But I was inside the palace. I didn't do reuse thing. Hold on. Okay. Not to worry. We just play this... The way an expert would and keep going. Yeah, right behind this guy, I remember. Ah! Are there any guys? Oh, they're all in here. Oh, they're all in here. Keep going. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, okay. So we just head back in here, go talk to, or not talk to the lady, but actually get the shortcut. Or, er, Grace. Oh man, my head is not screwed on right today. Yeah, we just take a right. Okay. And... Boom. Okay. Oh, I'm going crazy. Perfect. So we'll go here, get the thing to plus nine. Yeah, it is tedious, but I also think it's a fun little test of, like, you know, there's just so many buffs in the game. Like, whew, it's actually ridiculous. Okay, well, it changes strength to a descaling at plus nine. What, that's all it does? What? All right. So we'll use the bow for maybe other stuff later. I don't know. But, in the meantime, let's go here. Actually, what is our... Let's get some more serpent arrows. Uh, get some more bones. And then, we'll go kill... What's her face? Renala. Well, and the, and the fox. Yeah, yeah, we'll do both. We'll just do both. Uh, what do we need? 32. Got those. Actually, how many bones do I have? Yeah, okay. I don't even think levels are really worth it in uh, this right now. Like, being able to craft the actual arrows is going to be much more worth it to me, I think. Plus, I'm only able to get a certain amount of arrows per. Whew, okay, that should be... That should, that's a lot. That's a lot. So, we'll go here. It is a lot. Yeah, I remember seeing a guy... I can't remember which YouTuber it was. Um, But was it Bushy? Was it, I think it might have been Bushy. I, I know he popularized a lot of that stuff, but he absolutely, like, you know, towards the beginning, he's like, well, we need some more buffs. And to get this, and get this. But then, you know, towards the end, when you're watching the live stream and you just see him have, like, a minute and a half prep, and then you get in there, mess it up, and be like, well, got to do it all over again. <laughs> sure, it'd be tedious, but, you know, just... <sighs> I think popping some of the bosses that 
you know, you might spend 45 minutes. Like, if you don't really know the move set, you might spend 45 minutes on a boss on a regular playthrough learning the move sets and all that. And then just absolutely annihilating him with one attack. Yeah. That's really what it is. I think that's what it's all about for me. It's tedious, but watching a boss just get absolutely annihilated is is the fun part of the run. <laughs> the not so fun part is collecting the 78 buff items. Okay. So here Let me actually craft Oh crap, what am I out of the blood roses? Oh wait. Does this wolf even Radagon? Wait, what is he called? Wolf. We'll just I'll just do wolf. Red wolf red wolf of Radagon, okay. So he's strong to hemorrhage, so we probably shouldn't bleed him. Okay, well what is his what is his least standard probably we could do fire though let's do fire actually because yeah because then we could do the uh fire buff instead of let's see it, pr it bleeds but it's it's probably stronger to bleed actually what is its bleed resistance yeah it's got that 530 uh uh, I might get one bleed off the whole fight. <laughs> yeah, let's just do the twenty percent. I feel like twenty percent is gonna be more gonna do more than the strength tier is gonna do. Run. That, and I'm really not trying to max this thing out just yet. Because I want to get the black bow. And I know the black bow is going to do really, really well. So if I could just make it through this portion of the game without maxing this thing out, that'd be great. Okay. What is he doing? What is he doing? Okay. What? He, okay, so there's something wrong with his AI right now or something. Okay. Headshot. Does he get poisoned? Okay, he does. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. He's just going to keep dodging. Uh, I need him to do his attack he did that first time. Hey. You wouldn't mind calming down? Ooh, okay. That attack. Perfect. Woo! We got it. He, I don't know what he was doing. He was like attacking someone that didn't even exist. <laughs> it was weird. It was weird. All right. We handled him. With surprisingly little arrows. Uh, okay, so Renala. All status effect. Effect. <laughs> effects. Just all status effects. So she's pretty. Actually, she's kind of weak to hemorrhage. Okay. 
We'll just do bleed then. And bleed her out. After we poison her. Because her poison resistance isn't that good anyways. Yeah. Uh... I would say we should have this in the bag. The only thing I'm thinking of... That could be an issue... Or maybe... You change this. Let's see. In the first phase... Although we could bleed her out. Oh, never mind, never mind. We should be okay. Uh, because what we'll do is just pop the three little babies. She'll be on the ground. Actually, should we poison her? Let's poison her while she's on the ground. Is this a five? Smithing five? It is a five. Perfect. That's what we need for the bow. Um, Stunlock, pancake, and launch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Honestly, no. She... I don't know about stunlocking if I've ever done that. But I do know that most... If you're playing melee, most of the time, this boss fight is just... Uh, beating three kids up. I mean, you literally just... Yeah, actually, that's all it is. You beat three kids up. You... Get her into her little thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, you beat three kids up. You drop Grandmother Renala onto the ground. You, uh... Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's standing so menacingly. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. You're gonna do nothing. And then the second phase, uh, grandmother, you know, brings out the pies, so she actually starts buffing up people and summoning giants and stuff. But the first phase is actually dumb. I mean, I'm really not even a fan of the first phase of Renala. Okay. Okay, the only issue- oh yeah, that's the only issue. Okay. You see what I mean? Okay, but she's poisoned now. Which means that... That same guy just got done picked twice. Perfect. Yep, this is dumb. I'm um, definitely not a, not a fan of this first phase. Should die. Are you okay? Let her die to that. Can she- she can't die until you knock her out a third time? Excuse me? Why is that a thing? Okay, that- What? I did not! Ah, oh, man. Uh, uh, no! Uh. Oh, dude, that's what I hate is, you know, you're spamming R1 so she gets caught in that thing. Alright, man, thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, have a good day. <laughs> Thank you for watching, man. Oh, uh, that was so unfortunate. I need to go get some more blood roses. But as soon as I do... I should have this in the bag. I mean... I think I'm gonna pop the... Uh... Physic, though, in the first phase. 
Just so that I could do the first phase in two. Yeah, you gotta run straight up two after that first thing. I, I do remember that part. Okay. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Ow! Blood Rose, Blood Rose. Oh, get out of the way! Okay. Uh, no, I get stuck. I'm spamming R1, and once I get out of my little phase to dodge, I end up shooting an extra arrow. And it gets me clapped sometimes. Uh, debate parlor. I think that's the one. Crafting. Perfect. Okay, give me one sec. I'm gonna go check something out real fast and grab a drink, and then we're gonna go go just beat her into the ground. <laughs>
back. Oh. The trials and tribulations I just had to go through. Okay. That should warm me up, though. I got this fight. I just can't get greedy. That's what I did was I got greedy right there towards the beginning. All right. Go, 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 go. Um, I'm trying to think. I say that a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I try to fill in the space in what I think is like a, like a, a solitary quiet moment in a stream. But as well as that, I don't know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just had to roll through that. Hey, no, no. I'm getting... Alright. Uh, I don't think I actually need to... With how that first run went, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about... Okay, hold on. Roll off. Yes! Yes! My enemy is dead! Okay, uh, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about opening the door. As long as I play it relatively safe, I think I should be okay. Here we go. I mean, as safe as you could be. But... <sighs> That's to each their own. Let's go. So, first off, poison. Need to poison. Why? I hate locking on to these stupid children. <laughs> it's so... It sounds so bad. Like, when you say it a certain way, it's like, Oh, man, I've got to bow these children. <laughs> okay, that should... Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And then the third one. Drink this. What is happening? Lock on. Okay. I should just be able to spam. Perfect. All right. Got it. Drink. God, books. Knowledge. Okay, so drink this. I need it here with the poison. Oh, I forgot that was the attack. This is really the only boss. Okay. Why? <laughs> She's not even poisoned. What? I should be able to... Perfect. Oh! That was the worst one you could have summoned! I hate this guy so much! Okay. We just need to keep running. Okay, is it- are, is that one gonna disappear? Yes. Perfect. Okay, hold on. Wolves. Probably the best of the summons to get. 
is the wolves. Yeah, because then you could just do this. Okay. She's not poisoned anymore. Uh huh. Oh, how did I. Oh, she's dead! What? How did I kill her? Okay, what? I didn't realize her health was that low. I was so focused on the other stuff. Whew. Okay. There we go. Big. Big. Okay. I was, yeah, I was not even paying attention. Like, it. <laughs> she died, and I was like, what? What happened? I definitely don't need any of Renala's stuff. So, just use that. Oh. Uh, Maybe we will need to re uh do something, but I don't know. Okay. Killed her, we can redo this stuff. Uh let's max out our arrows and then Ah uh, man. I don't know. We can get the third talisman pouch. That's what we need to get. That's what we'll do. Real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. 50. And then. Third talisman pouch. We'll probably do ritual sword talisman. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Come here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Third talisman pouch equals ritual sword talisman. So that's. What does the arrow sting talisman do specifically? Like, that's what I want to know. Arrow sting. Not stone! Sting Talisman. 10%. So we've got 10, 20, 30% increased damage when doing the specific uh, barrage attack. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad, I don't think. Make a couple of these. Uh... Inventory. We don't have enough fives for that. Let's just level up, I think. Not D. What? I'm not talking to this. Get out of my face! Let the rest of the table not talk to you. I think the vigor. Each level is a little bit of extra damage. I mean, obviously, there's the arcane. Uh. Probably dex, to be honest. Let's just do that. The wee bit of extra damage it gives us. And then I guess we fight Radon. Really, like. Yeah, I guess we just fight Radon. Let's check what his stats are. I don't think he's really weak to much. I think he's he's more strong to physical attacks, right? He's strong to holy and sleep. Seventy thousand runes. He dropped seventy thousand though. Yeah, the thing he's the least weak to is the standard stuff. But his poison and his bleed are pretty low actually on the scale, so I think we could definitely take advantage of that. But the issue is 
Uh, you do tend to... With this guy, you do tend to be pretty far away. So I'm worried that I'm not going to be close enough to actually hit my shots. That's my worry. Is that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be too far away to actually hit anything. And if that's the case, uh, let me see. So, average defenses to poison and scar, or not scar, rot. Ooh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Rot arrows. What about those rot arrows? Is it rot bone? Rot bone arrow. Where do we get these at? In Kalid for four thousand. Locations. Let's do NPCs. Which one is it? It's a wandering trader somewhere. Which one is it? Is it... Okay, well, there's only, like, three, um... There's only like three guys in here, so I guess we just run to each one and see what we're missing. Uh, we'll start it off first. Actually, let me get the uh, let me get the thing. Ah, uh, yes, we got the boys' music. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. There's this one, this one, and the one up top that I always buy arrows from. Is it possible for something to be rotted and poisoned at the same time? Hold on. Now I gotta look this up. Now I'm just interested. Um, I'm looking for a book that's 4,000 though. This. Right there. Inventory. Why did I pull up the Google lens? <laughs> what? Can you poison and rot Elden Ring? Good to know that's a question asked by many. Purchase. Done. Alright, so. Rot bone arrows. Aeonian butterflies. I remember these. I remember these. Yes, I do. And they suck to get. Ugh. Okay, excuse me. What we're going to do is this. We're going to rot, we're going to poison. We're going to rot, we're going to poison, and then we're going to bleed. Yeah. Make sure that I've got the right physics up. Only issue, like I said, that I can see is... Actually having a problem hitting him from long distance. That, the, we also probably can't get hit by a single one of his attacks is another issue. Um, we don't have the defense for it, or the health, for that matter, but. No, do not paint me a full picture, I don't want it. Okay, somber smithing stone over here. 
And I believe there's a Smithing 5 up in the church area. I think. No, yeah, there, def there definitely is, because last time... Yeah. Smithing 6, not a 5, okay. All I can say is, let's hope we get this on the first try. Hold on, wait a minute. The arrow reach talisman. Let me do one last thing. I just gotta know. Arrow reach talisman. Increases the range by 65%. So basically, is 65% worth 10% damage to me? I honestly think it is. Because I do not want to be hitting this guy, or not hitting this guy with some of these uh, arrows. Especially the rot ones. I can't really get any more of those unless I go farm some Aeonian butterflies, so... You know, I'm kind of stuck. Oh, yeah. This wonderful little... Uh, this wonderful little thing right here. Come here. And he's going to shoot into the air. Okay, listen. That's uncalled for. Perfect. It's rotted. Oh! But I'm also hurt. Perfect. So it's possible that we Ooh. I think he perfect. I didn't realize they moved that quickly. Okay, the question is, you can rot him pretty easily. Let me okay. Let me try something really quick. Let me try something really quick. I used eleven rot bone arrows right there. I'm hoping the rot and poison will stay over the course of the fight, but I don't know if it will or not. Let me try. Something. Oh, man. What a waste. I was trying to get off the horse at the perfect second. So, I believe if you unrender him, right? Do this. Get him just in render distance. He should come after us. Instead of trying to snipe us. Just out of render distance. Get him out of render. There we go. It's delicate, I remember. At least for me it was. Come on. Maybe I have to go farther than that. It's something. then when you come back he'll be on a mission to attack you like run at you instead of just shooting these arrows <laughs> but apparently I'm not doing it right all right I'll play your game
Oh my goodness. Okay, let's poison him first. Okay, this is just a bad run, like... Overall. Just come at me, yeah, perfect. Okay. I'm out of stamina. I don't think he's rot I don't think he's rotted yet. His rot would do more damage than that. Ah! I'm throwing. Ah! Definitely rotted now. Maybe. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, he is rotted now. Perfect. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Out of my way! Ah! Uh. Okay, we. have got this. We just need to do something. First off, not waste nearly as many rot bone arrows. Secondly, we need more HP pots. It's doable though. It's it, This is a, a possible thing. Like this is not something that's gonna be really hard. I just need to stop playing so dumb. I also wasn't really expecting him to... Poisoned. He's probably getting close to being rotted too. Uh huh. He's not rotted yet, but he's close. Okay, now he's rotted. Perfect. Now we just need to run from him. We should be faster than him, I think. Ah oh, man, the most cheesy, annoying way to fight Radon. <laughs> I also need to be sure of something when I get him into his second phase. No! Are you serious? I had him. Ah! Okay. Hmm. 
We have 16 rot bone arrows. We've got one shot at this. This way. Let's not mess it up. <laughs> 16 should be enough if I don't miss a single arrow. If I don't miss a single arrow, I should be able to rot him in 16. That should be poison. Yep. Okay. Oh, and we miss an arrow right off the bat. <laughs> okay. I think we should still have enough. To, oh, there we go, rot. Okay. It won't let me dodge! It won't let me dodge! Ah! Ah! Gosh. <sighs> okay. Radon is the harder of the two to do. <sighs> All right. It would not let me dodge to save my life. <sighs> okay. Here's what I'm thinking. We get more rod arrows. We just need to rod and poison him in the first phase, phase, rod and poison him in the second phase, and then it's done. The issue is, is when he does that ball attack, because those things travel far. I need to get more Aeonian butterflies. The only place I can think to get more of those butterflies right now is hopefully there's some in the back of this abandoned cave because that's where i got my first couple was uh in this cave move yeah and there's some like over there so i mean there's there's a little bit of aeonian butterflies floating around but these are not ones that you could uh, farm. The only ones that I know that are farmable are down in the poison lake. That's the only ones I know of. But I got all of mine to make my first set of arrows from in here. I think I just spammed A or A, X on them. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So we're not out of the game yet. But we're going to be pretty soon if we don't play better. Okay. I think we could also try our hand at this boss real quick. With regular arrows. Check this out. When this person charges up for the thing. Okay. Uh-huh. Perfect. 
Look, a couple more. One more hit, and it's done. Done. Okay. Well, that's it. Because it's just this guy now. And this guy's just got this stupid thing. This stupid gimmick right here. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of stamina if I'm not careful. <laughs> I'm gonna call it stupid and then die to it. Oh, that could have been a headshot if that was better. He keeps. Oh, man. Okay. Listen here, you imbecile. Oh! I just caught him in a triple headshot. He's super low. Done. Uh, got him. Okay. That's 20% extra runes for everything that I do. I just figured I would do it. I should be able to make... There we go. Alright. We should, should be able to do this. Only issue is I wish I was more tanky to those things he shoots. I don't really even need... I could probably change out one flask. So I could do 6-2. Okay. Come on, there's much fight. <sighs> Man, alright, I just had a stroke. There are much harder fights up ahead. Radon is not something we need to get stuck at right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, skip, skip. The only thing I could see that would help us is... Maybe instead of the damage increase... Wait a minute, we're not even really killing this guy by... Hold on, okay. If we're not going to do that, shouldn't I just boost my defense? What are those... Okay, well, I don't have anything to boost my defense right now, so it's useless, but... What are those balls that he shoots? What are they? Is it magic? Because it looks like gravity magic. I know there's like the... The purple balls. I guess. My guess is gravity magic. So if we just made ourselves more tanky to it to where we didn't get one shot by those. Because those absolutely annihilate us. And they have been the thing to kill us... Several times over. Then I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be alright. And I want to say something along the lines of the light roll could help. But I feel like losing any armor we have right now is not the play. Okay. So he's going to shoot one volley at us. Oh, what? That's the first time it's actually hit. Oh. I got stuck in that thingy. Hold on. Okay. He should be poisoned. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just want to do the jump. Not that. Come on now. I know you can do it. Not this, but this works too. I should have him. Perfect. 
Okay, we got hit by one. No! <laughs> ah, we rolled too soon. Actually, do you even roll through that or do you jump that? Okay. Once he gets the gravity, it looks like we need to sit inside of him. Actually, I don't even know. Why was I staying so close to him? Because, oh, because of the balls. He shot the balls. Okay. Okay. So we need to sort of time it. Oh no, control is dead. That's not good, that's not good. We're gonna hit with the first one. Ah! Okay, well there goes, there goes a heal. <laughs> My controller just died. <laughs> Have a, a redo of yesterday. I lost a death, uh, no death run to a controller dying. That was rough. That was really rough. Okay, should shoot in the air. Ow! Okay. It should poison him. Perfect. Uh-huh. So he is both now perfect. Okay. Now we just run away. We don't want to fight him anymore. <laughs> We're gonna let him do his own thing for now. He's gonna summon his balls. They're not gonna be able to hit us. We're just gonna keep playing keep uh keep away for them. Oh, that's not keep away. Once he reaches five thousand damage taken, that's an issue. Oh, I'm telling you those balls are a problem. All right, he's getting there. He should jump away. Perfect, okay, watch for him in the sky. He's coming from this way. Okay, I think he's still rotted, but he's not poisoned. Okay, that's an issue. Ah, dude, I dodged late. All right, click the dodge button late. Crap. Need to hit him with two sets. Okay. I'm wondering, do we cheese him? It's very clearly possible. I mean, he... It's very clearly possible to do this. I'm just playing really bad. So I'm wondering, do we get him from first phase... And then let him drown. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll do it. I'll uh get him down. To, I'll get him to his second phase. Let him do his little uh, that's different. Okay. Uh, he didn't do his thing. Okay, he's poisoned. He 
It's gonna be rotted pretty soon. Okay, he's rotted too, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get him down to his second phase, which is at 45 to 5,000 HP. We're gonna head down to the ocean and we're gonna just sit by the ocean and watch the waves. Because what he does is he ends up coming from that way his meteor does. Which means we have to stay over here. So that he doesn't... Oh crap. Okay, we, get, we end up getting hit with a couple of them. Yeah, we always end up getting hit by a couple of them, but... Oh crap, that's bad. Perfect. Okay, go, go, go. He made it onto land! He made it onto land. Uh. Let it be known that he made it onto land. Ah. Yeah, you jumped that. Okay. Uh I got hit by it instead of rolling. <laughs> try it one more time one more time hold on goodness golly excuse me we need to be closer to the ocean front when that happens. I think you need to be standing right on the edge. So we just were not close enough. In fact, I also probably need to equip a pickled foul foot. That is not... Whoa. Okay, got him rotted. Oh man, almost everything one shots me, man. <laughs> it's a, it's a rough life out here. It's a rough life. And I'm playing dumb. I'm playing really dumb. <laughs> okay. Uh. Not playing very skillfully. And I, and it sucks too because I feel like Radon is some of the easiest fights I've ever had and some of the hardest. Like Radon is a, he's a, he's a mystery to me for some reason. I probably have enough weight to where I could get a better set of armor. But, oh now he does that attack. Ah! 
another one? That's bad. Okay, there we go. Only issue is I'm running out of my arrows. I think I should be okay. Run! Once he gets rotted, it'll be different. Oh, is that the rot? Nope. Oh, snap. That's the rot. No, it's not. That's the rot. Yeah. Ball shouldn't be able to... One ball! Oh my gosh! One ball is chasing my way! Okay. We just need to keep them. Perfect. Okay. He's going to do his thing, but hopefully I should be far enough away. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Oh, crap. Okay, run into him. That's the best way I've found to deal with that attack. Oh, what happened to my horse? Perfect. Go, go, go. I see. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> To whistle out this away. I need more Aeonian butterflies. I know this guy sells some, I think. Looks like we're gonna have to fight him the regular way. And if that's the case, we're probably gonna need somewhere around 50 of each arrow. Oh, he just saw you know, butterflies. Those are expensive, though. Whoa. Yo, each butterfly is 1500 Okay. By all five, because I can. And then we're going to go up here. I need more poison arrows. I really just need to rot bone him, actually. The poison helps, but it's mainly the... Uh, mainly the rot that's actually dealing damage. Alright, man. Thank you so much. Oh. Jeez. Alright. The poison is for after. We're first going to rot him again. We will see if we're still on the same boss by the time set. Oh, man. I don't want to get stuck on this guy. Because I know there's going to be a lot of bosses we're going to get stuck on. Oh, man. Like, knowing their movesets is one thing. But some of these bosses are just ridiculous. And when you get one shot by basically every attack... Uh, and a whole other slew of things start happening. Okay, so... Range. Hmm. 
I don't know. I don't know. Nothing is make me take more damage, though. So that's that's the big thing. We don't want to have anything that's going to make us take more damage because this guy already basically one-shots us with everything he's got. So... I could summon these guys, but it feels kind of cheap. There we go. Come on. Okay. We're going to keep him on his toes. Oh, uh, not on his toes. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Deer jump. Not that. I swear, the only thing... I keep getting going through his cape. Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, stay back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Noted. There you go, he's rotted. At this point, my best bet is to just get him poisoned and then back up. Keep running. He gets poisoned way quicker than he gets rotted, though. Okay. You gotta do that just right to not get hit by anything. Okay, he's poisoned and rotted. Crap. Oh, that was perfectly timed. Perfect. Okay. Play keep away. Let's play keep away. Just keep playing keep away. Okay, we're all good. As soon as he lands... Let me do this. Because as soon as he lands again from his jump, we have to get him rotted. <laughs> hey, <laughs> look. The challenge is not in the first bit. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, what? That hits us from the back? Okay, hold on. Perfect. Get back away. Back away from this. He's gonna do that. I need him to get rotted again. Okay. That's an issue. Oh no! Ah! Yo! I don't know how to avoid that part. That's my only issue is I'm not sure how to avoid... Ah. Because his thing goes out in all directions. So, it's like... You need him to throw it forward, and then you need... You need him to throw it forward, and then you have to jump it. But he's tossing the other attacks around, so it's it's making this, like, mix. Ah, oh, man. The challenge is in the second phase, easily. The first phase... 
I mean, we've got it down to a T. We just need to rot him in the second phase and then play the world's hardest game of keep away. He should throw up. He's not throwing up. Okay. Looks like he doesn't want to play up with us. Uh-huh. Okay. Perfect. How did that not hit us just now? What? That so should have hit us. Okay. So he's going to circle. Two shots. Should be... There we go. Uh-huh. This should poison him. Perfect. Now we play keep away yet again. <laughs> we have 21 of each arrow. We have to rot him with 21 arrows. I don't I don't think I want to poison him, honestly. I think after I think after the rot, that's it. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna mess around with it anymore. Yeah, because I mean his attacks are just too much to mess around with. Stay back. He's gonna do his I was not expecting that attack actually. Okay. This should be his Okay, yeah, he's going up. Okay, get on top of the hill. Poison Talisman. Is there a Poison Talisman? There he is. Out of the way. Oh, crap. The problem is, is he's already rotted. I think... Ooh, snap. Okay, now he's not. Okay, I should be far enough away. I'm just going to keep running from him. I can't. Whew. Okay. Perfect. Is he? No, he's not. He needs to get rotted, and he needs to get rotted now. No! Why? Ah! Uh. Ah! <laughs> he wasn't gonna get rotted. He has extra rot resistance in his second phase, or it's because I have to rot him twice. And it might be because I have to rot him twice in this in the second phase. That could be it. That could be it. <sighs> okay. So I need to come in there with at least. Uh, I need to go in there with at least fifty or sixty rot arrows. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, first off, handling the issue, Aeonian. Butterfly. Locations. Seven near the inner Aeonian side of Grace. Where? Inner Aeonian. In here, I would assume. Okay, so maybe there's some... There should be some inside this giant poison thing. But it only takes about 15 to 20 arrows to get him rotted the first time around. Which leads me to believe the second time around should be somewhere around 20 to 25 is my guess. Okay, is there any butterflies? No. Nope, there's one butterfly right there. My goodness, guys. My goodness, boys. We've made it. One butterfly. I need to reach... It said Inner Aeonia. It's got like seven. I don't know if that... Where that is. Or what that is. I guess... Oh, there's an Aeonian butterfly. Perfect. Okay, that puts us at what? Like 21? Oh, man. And we have to do this perfectly, though. Because after a certain point, getting these butterflies... Like, I've, I've been using a lot of these butterflies. And at a certain point... We won't be able to... Like, th these are one-time grabbables. These aren't things you can farm. Unless you go to that poison area down below... And I don't think... I think the only way I can do there is actually by doing a skip right now. You know, like, hop. what is it? Hopping onto the trees. Uh... You, like, hop onto the trees next to the magic lady. <laughs> I don't know where the rest of them are. <coughs> Three in and around the Church of Plague. Okay, wait a minute. I know where that's at. Fourteen. Yeah, I got... Uh, most of mine were from the Abandoned Cave, so... Let's crouch real quick. Come on. Oh, come on. You can't see me here. You don't know I'm here. I also need to actually, while I'm here... Oh my, that's a 12 though. I guess. I need to, I'm need i going to max out my poison arrows. Am I... Ch Apparently... Thanks, man. Ugh. I'm going to keep trying. Get off of this guy. Perfect. Thank you. I need to go here. Hop down. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep trying my best. It's rough. We're roughing it out here. Uh, Here, and then go down. I can get an extra tier. Because it looks like my HP and stuff is just at the point where some of his attacks don't one-shot me. But they get me super low. So I'd like to be able to make sure that I can get the full HP back. But... And actually, along with that, I'm, I'm serious when I say I don't need this Ritual Sword Talisman. Like, if there, what if there's a way to get more defense to magic right now, I need that. So I need to get, like, what is it, the magic... I know there's, like, the Great Shield thing for physical. One, two... Should be third set of butterflies somewhere. There it is. I never noticed those guys. I I literally have been here so much and I've never noticed those guys. Okay. You. 
crafting. <sighs> Go up here. We're gonna max out on poison arrows. Alright. This is it. Okay. Since give me a second. Magic defense talisman. Spell Drake Talisman, that's what it is. I'd like to use at least the regular, but Perfect. I know exactly how to do that. All right. Get as much of those as I can. So we have to go to Celia City. We have to light the fire on top of light the fire on top of the tower in there. And then go to the I think there's a top room, but I I know there's two fires I think. Yeah, see like there's like one on that top left bell tower, and there's one on the, the right. I'm not sure which one I need, so I'm just going to light this. Maybe light both. I don't know. Okay. That's another thing. I probably should also try a summoner only run where you like summon those guys. I have never once summoned a person. Like, not an actual person, but like a... I've never summoned an actual person either, but I've never summoned a, like a person to help me. So I think that would be really cool to actually summon... Like, do a run where you can only do those. I just ran out of stamina at the crucial moment. I think there's a... Yeah. Perfect. So we'll go here if it's not this one it's the other one but i don't 100 percent know so just light you it said the top one the bottom one is the magic okay i think there's a second door oh crap so I did not get the right one. I need to get the other one. There's a lot of items on roofs here. Out of stamina. I keep forgetting that all of uh, Torrent's movements take stamina. So like I'm like, why am I not going? Why am I not jumping? Go, go, go. This guy's playing archery only too. This one should be it. Oh, wait, there's a third one. Man, now I don't know. Now I don't know. Okay, but putting this on should give us 13% extra magic defense. Perfect. Should be spell Drake 1. And the reason we're going to do this instead of damage is we're not actually we're not actually shooting these guys for damage right now. Or at least not Radon. We're shooting him to uh And actually I need I could get another one. I mean, what is there what other talismans are there? What am I doing? Why is the interactive map... Ah! I've got the interactive map pulled up. Get out of here. Talisman and Elden Ring. I could do... I know the Dragon Crest plus one... Is I think it's plus one. And then 
Is there anything else that increases our survivability, basically, is what we need? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, man, I was about to say Ritual Shield Talisman would be really good, but can't get that just yet. Um... No, nah, that's it, really. I mean, yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, I also want to do one last check, actually. Let me see. I want to see if it says what Radon's attacks are. I am 99% sure that's magic, because that's literally the, um, what's it called? Gravity magic from like you know the staff, but yeah, he's got standard pierce and magic. Perfect. So we've got thirty three percent magic reduction right now, or thirty something. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Isn't there also? Oh, I don't have one. Oh, but that would have been good. That would have been good. Okay, wait a minute. Let me do this because I know I'm going to... We could also rune arc, but there's not really a point in that, I don't think. I don't know, but it's it's magic damage, so... No need to, to you know, push around the bush here. I think my next stream I want to do... After finishing this up, I want to get my subscriber special video out. I want to finish editing another video that I've got. And then after that, probably stream Bloodborne, to be honest. Like, that's something that I've really been looking forward to playing again is Bloodborne. Okay. Move. Uh, I unpaid attention for one second. I looked down, so I was trying to do something else. Looked down for one second. Okay. Gonna need absolute focus here. Ow. Oh crap. Hold on. Okay, he is Scarlet Rotted up. Back up, back up, back up. He should be... Yeah, okay, he's both. Whew. Pull out the HP, and we're just gonna play keep away. All that we gotta do... And stop messing with me right now, man. Okay, crap. Oh! Uh, I'm having to use too many healing pots right off the bat. Ooh. Okay, he should he should jump up. Oh, no he's not. He should jump up now. Perfect. Do this. Okay. Okay. 
So he's... Gonna get hit by the regular. That's bad. Back away. Okay. I need to get him with... Uh, he's gonna do is he's gonna send his things out. Perfect. Okay, they hit the horse instead of me. Can I? Ah, oh, gosh. That's bad. Run. Okay. Hey, man, what's up? Should. He becomes so much more tanky in this phase. Go, 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 go. Oh. Pretty good. Pretty good. Just. Oh, man. Okay. So he's going to send the things out. Dodge. Dodge. Oh. I'm at the water though, that's not good. Oh no! Ah! Oh man, that sucks. I totally forgot he could do that attack. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Uh, a lot of the times what ends up happening is I might talk, I'll look down, see a couple things, and all of a sudden I get, uh, like, just, I'm kind of out of it for a second. Let's see. Oh, man. That was a good run, too. Ay, ay, ay. Very sad. Very sad. Much sadness. Classic funny. Yeah. Oh, man. That's the thing that sucks, too. I've even got this. I've got this. Um. <laughs> Souls games are my favorite Souls games. Or, <laughs> Souls games are my favorite games, and they'll never not be. Even though it makes me super, like, oh, why am I even playing this? I love the challenge more than anything. I mean, seriously. I could base my whole channel around it, and that's what I'm trying to do is base it around difficult games. I mean, there are, there are some times when I have a little bit of fun uh, with something, but a lot of the times I'm like, hey, I want to try something difficult. Let's do a Souls game. <laughs> okay. Instead of this, I need to find another way to boost my magic negation. I don't know. It's... Souls games is... It's got a special place in my heart. Um, I don't know. I think it made me the person that I am today from playing games that were incredibly difficult. You know, at the same time, I do understand where you're coming from, though. A lot of people, uh, I guess, you know, it's from opposite ends of the spectrum. You know, sometimes you play a game to kind of escape 
Uh, even if you're enjoying what's going on, you're like, hey, I just want to play a game. I want to have some fun. Uh, I don't know. I, I like to... I have fun in getting... It sounds like weird, but I have fun in getting demolished. Oh, gosh. I would say Souls Souls games are my favorite. Uh, even over COD games. The early the early CODs were pretty good, but I'm more, I'm more of a zombies player. Uh, I I did end up getting presti uh oh gosh, uh, max prestige in Black Ops Three though. But I would say the I would say the fan base for both can be good and bad. I've I've played some games. You know, you just hear the N word thrown around. But Souls people can also be just as bad because they're kind of, I don't know. I, I can see where you're coming from. Some Souls uh, players are kind of weird, for sure. But at the same time, it's where my heart is, you know? Let's see. Uh, Fire. I do respect that opinion, though. I respect that you're able to put that out there. Most part, and Zombies guy. I'm going to be honest. I loved Zombies. I didn't really get into the multiplayer until Black Ops 2. And then Black Ops 3 was where my... Well, that was the, probably the only game I played multiplayer-wise where I really enjoyed it. Souls fans need to get a life. Hey, I don't know, man. You know how much time it took for me to get max prestige on Black Ops 3, let alone like all the other games? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh... Oh my goodness. Can these guys be poisoned? Plus, once you start getting into the harder lobbies of, like, COD... I mean, it is difficult. Like, it's not Dark Souls level of difficult, where, you know, you're asking for pain. But, that's another thing, is... I think over COD... My favorite game would have to be Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, other than the realism aspect of it, well, mostly realism, would be the difficulty of the game and the mechanics to learn. Okay, this guy definitely can't be poisoned, so I'm just going to give up on that. I mean, I guess it makes sense since he's a tree. But I was really hoping... With a life, our jerks. <laughs> um, I don't know a lot of people that like Souls games in person. I've got quite a few friends that like to play games. Let's see. I think I might be one of the only people I know personally that likes Souls games. So I think it's just... I think it's, it's like... From one person to another type of thing. Ah, oh. I enjoy the difficulty. Like, a lot of people say that difficulty isn't enjoyable. Uh, I would tend to disagree. Because I feel like things that are too easy aren't fun. Ah! Ah! Yo, back up! Hold up. But at the same time... I did not play my first Dark Souls game until... Sorry, it's really hard to read the chat at the same time. I didn't play my first Dark Souls game for a long time. I was a COD person beforehand. Souls games are not for me. Hey, that's alright. They're not for everybody. Um, and, no, nah, look, you gotta think. More than the people who play these COD games... Or, uh, played the Souls games. You just gotta imagine the people who make them. You know, they're like... I'm making this game. Uh... You know, for my fan base. And I'm going to make it so difficult. And everything is going to be uh, a journey and super hard. And I'm like, oh, my my fans are going to enjoy this. So, you know, it's like almost more than the people who play them. It's the people who make the games in the first place that are questionable. Because it's like, you know, do you love your fan base or do you hate your fan base? <laughs> Or is it a love, it's a hate in love type of thing? Okay, let's just... I don't know. If a game is, isn't difficult, I don't really like to play it. 
Unless I'm with friends. If I'm with friends and we're doing something, I can see just having fun, you know, no difficulty. I can definitely see that aspect of it because my friends tend to rage a lot. So I don't really think I would have a lot of fun playing a Souls difficulty game with my friends, but... <laughs> Uh, other than that, when I'm by myself, I'm like, I want to have a challenge. I want this to be super difficult, and if it doesn't, I have to introduce a challenge. Okay, I'm running out of fire arrows. I don't know. Back up, back up, back up. One sec. As soon as I kill this guy, I'll be able to easily talk to you about the rest of this. Perfect. Oh, we're right there. But I'm out of FP. Ha, ha. Gah, gah. Run! <laughs> okay. I've also... Okay, well, we missed out on the 20% extra. Alright. Oh, gosh. Uh, Souls games are not, very, are not for me. Uh, I will not complain 20 7 I'll just ignore it. Very you know what? I respect that opinion as well. Because a lot of people will end up playing a game. And then for the rest of the time, that if someone asks them about it, they'll, you know, Oh, you know, this game sucks. I can't play this. It's too hard. If you don't enjoy the game, just ignore it. That, that's very true. Um, yeah, AAA games. I'm trying to think. Right? It's not that I hate hard game or uh, easy games. It's just that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of going through. I'm, ha I'm doing my run. And then, I like, the first couple times maybe playing through a game... I do enjoy it being easy. I enjoy the easy, like using the easier methods to win. Uh, you know, maybe playing through Elden Ring and one-shotting everything. You know, like using the best builds in the game. I enjoy stuff like that. But then maybe my fifth or sixth time around, I'm like, you know, I I love these games, but I gotta add some challenge, right? And that's I think that's another thing that a lot of people don't agree with is. So, to play the Souls games, it's it's really repetitive, right? Like, you're just playing the same game over and over again. So, you need to have that... I don't know. It's it's weird. Like, that drive to play this game over and over again. And then you're like, I want to make this a little harder. I want to I want this to be a challenge. And when your skill grows, it gets less hard, but it's more hard. Oh, man. I'm trying to think. Modern Warfare 2. I... Oh my gosh. It's been a long time since I've played Modern Warfare 2. Oh my gosh. Man, that is that is a really far back game. Love simple games. Right? I can respect it. I don't know. It's like... I do like simple games... But the simple games are the ones that I feel like I can't play multiple times. Because it just gets boring. Unless there's a gimmick to it. Like, there are some simple games that have a gimmick that I really enjoy. That I'll, I'll end up playing the game several times over. Because I'm like, I really like how this... I really like how they did this. You know, this was really interesting to me. Um, I don't know. I think, hmm, FPS games with big maps. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't really like, I'm trying to think. 
I would agree with you on that. My biggest concern... Okay, one of the things that I know is going to be very unpopular... Games like Battlefield. I think the idea was to make this huge map and have all a bunch of people fighting on this map so it, it makes you feel insignificant but at the same time you're free but the insignificance of it is what kills me because i'm like i'm like i don't i don't know I, don't, I just don't enjoy that style of play and it's been a long time since i've played games uh like drop games like uh apex maybe fortnite which i'm never playing fortnite ever again because i mean i haven't played a game in years but apex maybe um i don't know those games i have to play with friends but i also yeah see that it, the big map thing on battlefield was a turn off for me but i don't know why it's just, it just I, f I just feel insignificant in the map. I'm trying to think. COD. The newer CODs to me also were not that fun. I don't know why. Like, it just all feels the same nowadays. Beforehand, I guess, there were cool stuff. The skin. The skins were the main part of why I played COD. Because for me, it's always about the uh, the rewards, the achievements, the show off. That's why I love trying to do these runs. Uh, you know, I'm playing on PlayStation. I'm trying to get platinum trophies on Steam. I'm trying to get all the trophies. It's that for me is that's one of my big driving factors. Is feeling like I achieved something that, which is probably why I play these hard games. You know, it's that feeling of I just spent ten hours doing the most god awful run. But guess what? Not a lot of players can say they did that. And uh, that to me is an achievement. Let me see. I've got 80,000. Okay. Okay, wait. <laughs> Battlefield and COD fans agreeing that COD is garbage. <laughs> that is that's actually funny. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to run in Altus Junction. I'm going to run into this area. I'm going to go get the Black Bow. Yeah. We're going to go get the Black Bow. Uh, we're going to... Let's see. It's because as soon as we get the Black Bow, it's trading the Composite Bow out. I believe. But along with that, we need to find an easier way to kill Radon. I don't know. Radon bow is difficult. And it's just because he's got... There's not a lot of chances. When you're long range with Radon, Radon does not feel long range. He is right there with you with all of his attacks. Um... So yeah, Radon is going to be skill. Whoa. We could take out some of the easy bosses right now. As well. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Uh, running through and just annihilating some easy bosses. Actually, you know what? Yeah, right after this. Right after we defeat this boss, uh, the tree sentinel, or no, the draconic something sentinel up here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go through a boss rush real quick. Easy games, but I love getting good at easy games and do crazy stuff. For example, that time. Hat in time is a very easy game, but speedrunning. Oh, see, that's another thing that I, um, I enjoy is speedrunning. But I don't think I could speedrun any game that wasn't a Dark Souls game. Or... See, Dark Souls. I don't know. Because there's 
so many tricks to a lot of games, but Dark Souls speedrunning to me just feels like, hey, this takes a lot of skill, and as well as that, you're going to be doing uh, very simple things over and over and over again. So, at some point, it becomes less challenging and more, ah, crap, mess this up, time to turn around, <laughs> like... Which, in and of itself, could be annoying, but at the same time, nah. Boost power of skills. Who hates sold games? Did a demon... Okay. Do you enjoy Demon Souls, though? Oh, and also, do you... Demon Souls, the old one or the new one? Um... Demon Souls, the old game, I didn't get a lot of playtime with, but the remaster, I did play uh, a wee bit, and I have to say, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. Uh, I, I had to talk with someone earlier on an earlier stream. Um, he was asking me. I think that was the, that was like the first question in that stream was he was asking me. Spe oh man, huh? I think I speed I think I speed ran Dark Souls 1 a bit back. Actually, I want to get back into that. Uh instead of the I haven't speed ran a game in a long time, but I have tried to do a bunch of death deathless runs. Uh recently I've been trying to do a lot of deathless runs. Okay. I can get a shot off before he has a chance to shoot another fireball. <laughs> this is dumb. Yeah, this is going to be a really easy fight. <laughs> Okay. As long as we don't mess up the timing on some of these attacks. Yep, there we go. Out of the way. I'm waiting for him to do his lightning attack. Not that one. Oh, crap. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Okay. Hold on. The remake was garbage. That is exactly my thoughts as well. The remake, I played through it. It is my least favorite Dark Souls game. But the thing is, is I love Dark Souls games so much that I was willing to look past it just to play it because I hadn't played... I hadn't played uh, Dark Souls... What am I? Th I'm like. I'm like blanking out right now. Hold on, let me. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm like blanking out right now, but it's because I'm trying not to die. But yes, Dark Souls. What am I doing, man? Okay. Give me one sec so I don't lose this. Done. Whew. Okay. Dark Souls remake garbage. I don't, yeah, it, it's, I don't know. I mean, they remade the entire game. I, it was really just for the people that didn't want to play the older-looking Dark Souls, in my opinion. Like, that was really the only reason they did that. But at the same time, I can't fault them for it because it is what a lot of Dark Souls players wanted was a redone version of Demon Souls. So, you know, in that instance, they they did what they set out to do, I guess. 
but it was so bad. It was so bad. <sighs> I don't know. My least favorite Dark Souls game by far. Although, if I had to rank the games... Okay. No, okay, you know what? I can't even do that. Here's my list of the games, in my opinion. Dark Souls 2 is my least favorite game. Not because it is inherently bad, but because it was the worst out of every Dark Souls game. It's not that bad, in my opinion. Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls... Uh, or Demon Souls Remastered, uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, no, Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring, Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne. Bloodborne is my top game of all time for the Souls series. The Blood, <laughs> the uh, Blood Souls, I for actually no, I forget how they say it. Dark, we'll just go Darkborn. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, it was easily my least favorite. Bloodborne. Elden Ring isn't even my most favorite. Or close to favorite. Because I played Dark Souls 1 way before Elden Ring. Like, I mean, it was... I don't know. Where's the Black Bow? Is it here? No. I'm not exactly sure where the black bow is. Oh, this could be it. Nope, that's not it. I might have jumped onto the wrong set of roofs. It's possible I jumped onto the wrong set of roofs. Ow. Come on. Uh I don't think it's I don't think this is savable. Let me get the grace down here. Oh gosh. Oh wait, is that the black bow right there on that thing? No, it's not. Okay. Run! Okay. I need to go back up top. I'm not sure which roof has the thingy. The black bow. Black bow, Elden Ring. Location. Found a corpse on a rooftop accessible by jumping across the houses to your right when you descend the lift. that leads to the lower level of Landell. Descend the lift? I have no idea what they're talking about. Let me just pull up the map link. Okay, hold on. Zoom in without messing up the coordinates. I gotta get, I'm trying to get so much stuff out of the way. They put so much stuff in here and it's so dumb. Zoom in. Okay. The black bow is... Oh, okay. It's, it's here then. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'll never respect the remake of Demon Souls. <laughs> Although, as you can tell from the list, Demon Souls isn't really too high on my list, anyways. And the reason for that, I don't, I don't really know. I guess it's because I'm a relatively no. 
Demon Souls looks so much worse than Dark Souls 1, even before the remaster, I, I, in my opinion. And looks don't really matter a huge amount to me for these games. But they matter enough. <laughs> they matter enough. And the only thing that stops me from hating on Demon's Souls at all is it was the first in the in the timeline, you know, like it was it was the first in the series. So that's really all that stops me and that should tell you something, but that's really all that stops me from hating on it. Whew, we got the black bow. All right. Although, <laughs> I would like to do a no-hit of every single game in the Souls series. And the only thing stopping me from doing that is skill. <laughs> I mean, it really that's really the only thing that stopped me from doing that is skill. Um... So honestly, if I, which I want, I want to stream every day. I want to put time and effort into this channel. So it would not be out of like out of the stretch for me to put the time and effort in to play every single Souls game to the point where hello uh, to play every single Souls game to the point where I can no hit every game. Alright, I don't know what uh, it takes to upgrade the black bow. Thank you. Don't need to talk to you anymore. Let me check what it takes to actually upgrade it. If it's Somber Souls, I think I can handle it. If it's regular, that's going to be rough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on. Strengthen. It's somber. Okay. And this one has barrage naturally. So it's just a more powerful longbow, basically. Or composite bow. With with the actual range, as well. <laughs> yeah. And a higher dex thing, so I'm, I'm gonna get better dex scaling. So I need Sombers one through. Okay, I need I need one and three. Okay, okay. I don't know if I've been to EG yet. By a one. I haven't been to EG yet. Okay, so we'll go to Bellum Church. We'll go down and around. Go to EG. Uh, by the three, which should be able to make it where we can get a plus six black bow. I think a plus six is gonna be more powerful than the plus fourteen composite. It should. And then I'm sure there's a way to get. I'm sure we're gonna find a way to get the seven, eight, and nine before having to fight anything else. But really, our uh, thing right now is we're gonna go fight some of the smaller bosses and just start. Building up our talismans, um, tiers, all that stuff, so we can kind of build a roundabout. I mean, killing all 165 bosses takes a lot of time. Also, what I might do is I might pull up a dock of. Or, yeah, make pull up a dock of every single 
boss in Elden Ring and do like a checklist kind of thing so that it's easier for you guys to tell and for me to track uh, what bosses I've killed if, if someone's joining in like halfway through the second or third stream. Because, you know, right now we've got no idea. Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, man, dude. You have no idea this run is being a menace right now, but we're trying. I might pull up a dock to make it easier for uh, you guys and me. Because it's also hard for me a little bit to kind of keep track of what I've killed and what I haven't. Let me see. I need... I, I just want to see where the black bow scales in terms of... Let me okay, really quickly. Let me. I'm gonna see where the black bow scales in terms of its damage. I believe, <laughs> dude. I'm trying. Oh, you know, uh, you needed to see the. Um, uh, you needed to see the Radon fights that we just tried earlier. I I fought them like twelve times, and man, they were rough. I need. I don't know if I'm going to need a 789, and I don't know if it's possible to get a 789, but I'm... Because I know that I got the 7 from Volcano Manor, so that's the issue. Okay. Uh, yes, EG. Yes, we know. Oof. Two, three. I'll just strengthen it here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six... Okay, what's the comparison right now? Uh, better scaling, better overall damage. It weighs a bit more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty obvious we're going to use the black bow. So it's a long bow. It's going to have, I think, a little bit... Uh, of a difficult time, but it's got barrage, so, you know, it does that. Let's see. I need to get my hands on a 7, 8, and 9 somber. Whoa, he was invisible right there. Yeah, I, I have no idea what that dude said. Good luck, you bro. Hey, he said what he said, but at the same time, he wished us good luck. That's all we need. Okay. So, we're looking for... Somber 7. Because we have to do this one by one now because we upgraded the poison bow. I uh, already got that one. Subterranean shunning ground. What the? What is that? <laughs> Lake of Rot, Forbidden Lands. Ah, uh, yeah. A lot of these are... Uh... All right. So it looks like we have exhausted our stuff. We have exhausted our stuff. We are on a mission. Rot. So let me do one thing. Arcane. We're going to look up Arcane and Elden Ring. I want to see what each level helps with. Like, maybe if increases your holy defense. I don't really need holy defense. Um, okay, when scaling the status effect buildup of throwing weapons, poison on arrows, arcane has a unique scaling curve formula with the soft cap at 15, 30, and 50. Okay. Causes poison buildup. So what I'm tr okay. So well, what I'm trying to see is I want to know the actual numbers. Rot. Arcane scaling with discovered. 
Arcane does increase blood buildup. Continue. No stats, including arcane, seem to be affected. Scarlet rot, rot weapons. So there's not really a way to increase. I had to get good at rainbow. <laughs> no. Oh, man. I've been playing rainbow a little bit here and there, but not on console. Uh, I mean, it'd be weird. It would be weird playing with a controller on console uh, on rainbow. It's been a lot of this, man. I've just been trying to build the channel, uh, do stuff. I've got to do, or I don't have to, but I want to do a 50 subscriber special. Uh, I'm really proud of that happening as quickly as it did. It just took a couple of streams. But I also have some videos that I'm like halfway done editing. Uh, one is the Calamity Mod Terraria. Uh, there's another one that I've got in the works that I'm, I'm I got to finish the stuff for it, but it's coming. It's coming. Oh, man. I need to play more Rainbow. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's going out pretty good. It's pretty going out pretty good. Let's see. I need... Oh, I've still got the Golden Scarab on. <laughs> mm. Calamity does go crazy. Although... For as many uh, increased difficulties on death mode that I was playing with, and you'll see it in the video, that for the amount of uh, increased difficulties, I feel like I got so many extra buffs and stuff, and I actually took my time to use potions that I started destroying the early bosses. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. Um, let's see. Although I'm sure later on, I, I'm, I am starting to reach a couple of things in there that's pretty bad. I need to get to the poison place, so I might... Okay. We might do a skip real quick. Let me see. So arcane only scales with weapons that have arcane scaling as well. So it does not affect arrows. Unless the weapon itself has arcane. So I would only be able to scale with, like, poison bow. Ooh, okay. Um, so I think I'm going to put my points into dex. Which, I should probably do that right here so that I don't lose them. Huh? Okay. Because we have to kill every single boss. Okay, so that goes 228, 229. They're pretty evenly scaled right now. Although that might be because of the deck soft cap. If I do this. Okay, it looks like it's going to go about the same. Let me... How many points do I get? 10? Uh, I think let's do this for now. Extra endurance would be really, really good. Uh, I need to get better armor. Uh, one of the things is if I can just survive like one or two shots. Let's see. Wanted to see how you were doing. Peace, man. Thank you for that. Uh, things are going. Oh snap! Things are going pretty well. I just gotta. Get some stuff running out here. Get my upload schedule back to a solid, a solid amount. I'm also wondering. I want to do either a Bloodborne run, Dark Souls one. Uh, I don't know. I don't really see a lot of Bloodborne runs. That's my problem. Is like, I know that Bloodborne is kind of restricted in the things that you can do, but at the same time, show some love to Bloodborne, man. 
I mean, it's like the most, probably the most loved game in the series. Like, we need it. We need it. Although, I ask to show love, even though the developers themselves won't remaster Bloodborne. I would love a Bloodborne remaster, but I don't know if it's needed. 100% honest. I mean, it already looks clean. It already looks clean. Especially if you've got a PS5. Like, it's clean. But a PC rework. Reworking it to PC, that would go hard. For sure. And they would make so much money, I feel like. I feel like moving it over to PC could not be that difficult. I mean, there's a... there's a, Sure, there's a couple of tweaks... But, you make so much money from the people who are Bloodborne lovers. Honestly, it's kind of sad. It's a wee bit, it's a wee bit sad. Alright, let me... How many runes do I need to level up? Oh yeah, let me just... Do this. Hopefully, this should be enough for the extra endurance. Um, because running Radagon Sword Seal doesn't really help me. Like, I mean, I get like five extra, but I have to end up taking more damage, so it's not helpful. So having the extra equip load to have better armor on is going to be, hopefully, what I need. I should be able to take him out with 36 arrows. Go, 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 go. I'm going to do the skip, though, to get to the Lake of Rot. I'm not... I don't think I've ever done it, though. So, you guys are about to witness... The learning of a skip. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, it does still have the. Perfect. Ooh, not good. Let's go ahead and heal real quick. I do still have the quick shot when I roll. So that's good. Uh huh. Ooh, can I get a. Ooh, crap. Can I stay semi consistent? Ah! <gasps> okay. It doesn't look consistent. Okay, she can do her bow attack now. Uh, speak of the devil. You can knock her out of that? I didn't know you could knock her out of that. Okay. Yeah, I did not know that was a knockoutable attack. Oh, crap. Uh-huh. They're all delayed. Just die. Trade. <laughs> we both shot bows. Mine was better. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Uh, so I don't exactly remember the skip. So it's at one of these towers, and there's a tree that you can step on. It's 
Probably not even this. Oh, wait. It's right here. Okay. Yeah, and I think people... What they do is they aim... Somewhere to get this done better. Oh, crap. I think they aim somewhere to get it down pat. Okay, so it is on top of the tree. But you have to get on top of two trees. There's this first tree. And then there's that tree on the left. Oh, crap. Okay. I don't think they patched this. I think the first tree is the hard part. Ah, oh, man. A little farther forward, I think. What invigorating gameplay. Like... This really makes you want to watch the video and play Elden Ring. Okay. Oh! That was it! That was it! I just went too far forward. There's a sign there. As well. Okay. That was a bit too far to the right. There's a sign there. If I could actually see the sign really well, it'd be... A bit easier. Okay, I went too far. Maybe we look up a video on this. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Lake of Rot Skip. Okay. We're watching the Ronnie skip. Okay, wait a minute. So this guy just... This guy's just going for it. Okay, this... Yeah, that guy... This guy's just going. Okay, I see... I see what his plan is. Crap. Yeah, this guy's just... Oh, come on. <laughs> this guy's just running it right now. Okay. So we just... Ah, oh, crap. Too soon. The streamers are probably... Got a way more precise way to do this. We do not. Which means that we are running this. The way of the gods. Okay, I'm going too far to the left. It looks like. I keep going to the left too much. I was so on top of that rock. Don't even. Ah, oh, crap. Ugh. This is going to take forever. We need to get there, though, because we need to get to the Lake of Rot to get the Aeonian Butterflies. Oh, my gosh. It's like the more I do it, the less 
I'm able to get to that first tree. What? Why didn't you jump? I guess I was like on like a little piece of the rock. Or of the tree. Oh, you gotta get high though. I'm seeing the boundary that I'm hitting, but you gotta get high for that. Oh, crap. Okay, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, snap. Okay, I'm going to try this a little bit more. And I'm going on a food break for just a bit. Oh, I was, I, I like stood on it for a second. Okay. So it looks like, here's my problem that I'm getting with the tree thing. It looks like I'm um, jumping too early. So I'm clipping the bottom of the tree, but I'm still getting the jump off. So I need to get like, there kind of. So maybe the best way to do it is just going to be, okay, can I just do this? No, because the jump throws me too far forward. <laughs> So from here, oh, I just need to land and to be able to do a jump and a double jump right there. All right, <laughs> two more times. We'll try twice more and then we'll double back. Too early. It was right there. It was right there. What are you doing? All right. This is the one. <laughs> I am not ending it on that. Don't even with me. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Why do I keep I keep landing weird so it won't let me jump? Like normally you can land flat on that tree. Like that. Oh, that was that was it. That was it. Such riveting gameplay. Alright, alright. I'm gonna call it game for a sec. I'm gonna go take a food break. I'm gonna come back to this fresh. We're gonna come back fresh. Ugh. Small food break though.
I'm alive! Oh. That was actually quicker than I thought. <clears throat> okay. The stream continues. Uh. Start recording. Put me back in. Okay. I was trying to do the skip last time. Maybe I just fight Radon regular? Or... Like, yeah, just poison him and then regularly fight- or bleed him. Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's just poison Radon and then just bleed him. Because... It can't be that bad. And like I said, worst comes to worst, we'll try that, uh, <clears throat> cheese from last time. Oh my god! What happened to my merchant? Oh no, 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 What? Is this an this 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 normally happens? Whew. Whew. Is that a normal thing? And I, I've got to fight this guy at some point. Ah! Dude, I've never seen that. You see, eight. I mean, honestly enough, let me just. <coughs> there we go. And then the rest be blood bone. Uh, or, I mean, we could we could rot them once, right? Yeah, we'll rot them in the in the first phase. Is what we'll do. Yeah. Okay, we'll rot him in the first phase. Then the second phase... We'll... Attempt to poison him? I guess? Hold on. I don't really need the damage as much as I just need to not die to his attacks. Um, and we've got... Eight Crimson Tears to do that with. <laughs> the only thing is, is there's a couple of attacks that are guaranteed to one-shot us. If they hit full blast. Uh, his orb attack. Oh, uh, gosh, what's the other one? He's got an orb attack. He's got that wave attack, which we're better off running from than actually... We're better off running from the wave attack, which we normally do. Unless he does something else. Like, he does those, uh... Meteorites, the big ones on the top left and top right. Unless he does those at the same time, it's normally not that big of a deal. But when he does do that, he tries to do the wave as well right afterwards. That's bad. <laughs> that, that's a really bad uh, thing to happen. Although, I'm thinking to myself, let's rot him in the first phase... Ooh. What if we rot him in the first phase? Poison him in the second phase. So that he doesn't build a build up. Or I mean, um, doesn't build a resistance to it, right? Although he might automatically get a resistance to, like, status effects in his second phase. Because I do, I seem to do significantly less damage. Ow. Okay, we'll just poison him in the first phase. We'll bleed him. In the second phase... We'll attempt to... Ooh, 
Ooh, look at that bleed. Bleed is big. Bleed is big. No way he just put those two attacks together. There is no shot. Okay. He put... He pulled me in to the orb attack. That is actually maximum hater right there. That is, that's actual maximum hater, man. All right. That's whack. That's so whack. How dare he? Ah. All right. It's all right. It just adds to our video kill counter. Come here. I need to do. Uh huh. I know. Hold on. If he would not hit me with a single one of these. There we go. Like that. Perfect. Okay, back up. Back up. Perfect. Should be poisoned. Definitely is poisoned. Then we just... Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Uh-huh. Yep. Let me start spamming. He gets hit with bleed. Okay. So he's gonna do his... Okay, he's gonna jump. Perfect. Swap out the poison for the rot. Okay, he's coming from this side. Oh, snap. Oh, he's rotted! He's rotted! Wait a minute! This is doable! This is doable. Hold on. We just have to stay away. We just have to stay away the whole rest of the fight. The whole rest of the fight. We just have to stay away. Where's he at? Okay. He's only taking rot damage. But that's alright. That's alright. He should die. I think. We just keep our distance. We should keep going. Oh, the, the most stressful Radon battle. Ooh. Run. Run. Ooh. Okay, just stay back. We just gotta stay away. We just gotta keep playing. Stay away. He's almost dead. Come on. Come on. This this should kill him. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's dead. Ooh. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. 
We did it! GG's in the chat! Oh, my goodness. Thank you guys for the faith. It may have taken two hours, but we got it. We just had to rot him in the second phase, not the first. That was the plan. Whew. That was, that was like top tier stress though. Whew. Okay. So I'm gonna go, I need, I actually need, Okay, <laughs> viable is a stretch. I'm gonna be a thousand percent with you, man. Viable is a stretch, but <laughs> it's possible to use them. They're not that bad. Um, I mean, we've got Radon, Renala, we got these two, but it's only gonna get harder from here. So we're we're just gonna have to do more, and we're gonna have to have like more and more. <sighs> ways of dealing with it. But first off, that took a long time. What we have to do now, or we won't have to, but I'm choosing, we are going to go on a boss killing spree for a lot of the stuff that we have in... Um, okay, let's just go ahead and... Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to keep that because there's a great bow that he has. We're going to go back and just start molly whopping all of the bosses we've missed. So endurance. Maybe some HP. You wouldn't think you need endurance and HP. You need endurance and HP. It's ridiculous. Uh, right off the bat, there's a couple of bosses. We got this guy down here. Yeah, honestly, I never used a bow in my first long while through uh, basically every Souls game. I mean, the only game I really used ranged weapons considerably was Bloodborne, and that's because they're guns. I mean, come on. Okay, hold on. So we've got to kill... This guy. Oh yeah, well, actually, wait, what am I doing? It's not that bows aren't viable. It's that there's no reason to pick them over every other weapon class in the game. Do yourself a favor and don't don't use don't use bows. <coughs> don't <coughs> don't use bows. Uh, yeah, no, I, I would really would not recommend bows to anyone unless you play. Unless you plan on playing a couple of times, then bows are they're decent, but they make you so mad. I don't really get mad. I get, man, I might sound mad for a second if I die. After, you know, after my 10th death, I'm like, ah! Oh! It just motivates me to get a little bit stronger. Like, find a different way in-game to beat them. Find a different strategy. Um, but if you get angry... I don't know about the bows. <laughs> I don't know about the bows. Uh, okay, crack pot. Oh, actually, I did need more crack pots anyway. Because... I need to... Or I want to have more... Oi! I want to have more just in case I end up uh, having to use multiple sleep pots on the Godskin Duo. Which I probably will because I'm using bows. Let's be honest here. Okay. This guy is fire defense, I believe. But... Yeah. <laughs> Second playthrough, had one character, went all the way to Journey 10. Ooh, okay. Man, that's interesting. I think my f the only time I ever did that was Dark Souls 1. My first time playing Dark Souls 1, I 
beat the game probably 20 times in a row before, like with the same character, before I just decided to play uh, differently. Let's see. We've got, there's this ever goal right here. Honestly, I, you don't really have to unless you're stuck. I mean, if you want to speed run the ki uh, kill it, put him to sleep. But if you know you're using a good set of weapons, just learn the moves. Like you know, you don't necessarily have to. I would still put them to sleep, though. <laughs> I would still put them to sleep. Uh, what other boss do we have? See, there's a bunch of bosses I don't even really know about. I know there's one in the Cave of Knowledge. Oh, let's see. There's this Ever Goal up here. Let's do this Ever Goal real quick. I forget which one it is or, or what it actually is for. Oh, gosh. What is it for? It's for something. I don't know. My first couple playthroughs around, I didn't use sleep bots either. And I saw them used in-game, like, from a streamer. I don't remember which one. Probably... Oh, gosh. I, I don't know. Probably one of the bigger ones. I don't know. Bushy, maybe. I passionately hate the duo. The only duo I like so far are the ones in Dark Souls. Ornstein and Smo. I really like their boss fight. But probably because it was never that difficult. You know, you want you want to talk about a difficult boss fight in a, as a duo. What are those guys called? I forget. Um, these guys. It's literally this guy, but the double of him. Oh my goodness. Talk about the most annoying guys to fight. I didn't even realize that it was gonna be this guy okay so it looks like we're gonna have to rely on a lot of rolling and turning and stuff yeah I don't even know how this boss fight's gonna go like regularly. Ooh, crap. Oh, man. Maybe if I would pay attention for a couple of seconds, I wouldn't get. Oh, he's gonna fly. Right? Isn't that what that means? Yep. And he gains the ability to do that. Whoa, that was a melody. I just. Yeah, yeah, there's, it's the Crucible duo, and my goodness, is it the most annoying, oh, that, I should not have rolled through that, like, I, that should not have worked, okay, and then he's gonna get his, no, he's not gonna get his tail ability? I'm just using Golden Scarab. This guy on his own sucks, but he's not that bad. When you have to go against two of them, ugh. Oh, it sucks, man. Mm-mm-mm. What did I do with my... Is this my drink? I guess it is. Uh, okay. Who's next on our list? Uh, we could do this real quick. We got a lot of stuff to get out of the way. So we kind of just have to run through the boss battles and be like, Oh, who's next? Who's next? Okay. Uh, Golden Scarab is Abandoned Cave right here. It's... Oh, it's another duo battle. I forgot about that one. Not nearly as bad as the... Crucible Knight duo, but still a pretty annoying duo. 
Um, but if you've got decent DPS, you're good. You just gotta make sure you don't get Scarlet Rot from him or in the cave itself. <clears throat> I'm just gonna make sure that I get as much uh, runes as possible. So I can either level up or get my uh, arrows. Hey, no problem. I really need to like super stack on arrows though. And <clears throat> this is probably the easiest catacombs though. But it's got the Uchi Katana in it. Only reason that I don't know, you'd ever go in this place, I guess. Ooh, blood roses. I actually need those. Uh, Uchi Katana Uchi Katana is up there. And if you don't know how to get there, oh gosh, the rolling skeleton. It's right there. It's kind of uh, hidden, actually, but one of the best early game weapons. I mean, it's so ridiculous. Okay. Let's fight this guy. Uh, this is an easier version of him. Yeah, he's only got about half HP. Although, this guy is annoying. He's got a lot of attacks that remind me of actual player attacks. Like, he's got a lot of forward dodges, uh, rolling attacks. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff. Ironically, one of the only ways I'm going to be able to kill him is by getting close to him with a bow. Enemies that tend to dodge every time you shoot, uh, you have to bait out an attack. Ooh, okay. Oh, man. And he's fast, too. Don't underestimate him. He's fast. Not gonna need that. Death root. So we got this guy. Uh, next one on the list. I know there's a guy at this bridge. Oh, it's Patches, isn't it? Never mind, that's Patches. Let's go to Saints Bridge here, and I think you can jump down. There's a cave here as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah because it's the um, yeah, uh. It's that blue doll. Oh, what is that? Is that like spit or water or something? It's coming out of his helmet. Uh, it's the giant golem right here. Because you get that blue dancer doll from it right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we just... That's like everybody. <laughs> Let's see, Uchi Katana combined with Bloody Slash will melt bosses. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, B Bloody Slash. I don't know if I would use Bloody Slash, though, to be honest. I think I would more prefer to just go with um, Unsheath. Like, I know you lose the, the bit of the blood... But I think I just prefer to have the unsheath ability itself because it is just so... Oh, snap. Unsheath is just such a good ability. I mean, you get that range on attack. It is a counter-attacking machine. <laughs> okay, I'm not actually sure where I have to go. This place has uh, always been confusing. Still scared to fight Astle, though. He gave me so much trouble my first playthrough. Um, let's see. I don't think he gave me a lot of trouble. Hold the phone. I don't think he gave me a lot of trouble my first playthrough. But subsequent playthroughs, he did. It was weird. Like, the first time around wasn't that bad. But then, every time after the first time was so bad. 
Okay, I don't think this is the right way. I don't know. I have to fight all 165 bosses, which means Estelle is going to be on the list for bow only. It's possible it'll be easier with the range, but you never know. Oh, what am I doing? Here, right? That's where I just came from. I'm, I'm so throwing right now. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, he didn't give me a lot of trouble, but I also beefed up very much my first playthrough. Here we are. Picked up Moonvale. Yeah, Moonvale is good, but they uh, nerfed it. I, I honestly, the problem is, is I never got to see an unnerfed Moonvale. That's my only sad sadness, I suppose. I never got to see. Okay, I don't even, I don't even know what this guy's doing right now. Okay, those are his weak spots. There we go. And just like that, we take down a really easy boss. <laughs> uh, ah. Okay, we'll just go... For some reason, you can't, I can't open my map right now. I think the bosses from before are uh, following me. Or, <laughs> the enemies from before. Who's next on the list is the question. Uh, ooh, actually, we could defeat this guy. Uh, yeah, we defeat all the bosses. Um, um, it got nerfed a while back. It was, uh, I've had Elden Ring for, I think, two and a half, three years. And I also, I played on console before I actually played on PC like I am now. And, uh, it was nerfed, it was nerfed before I got to use it. Okay, this, this boss is weird me out, man. Oh, that's a problem, okay. Okay. These guys get... <laughs> they get one shot. What? Oh, well. Maybe that guy got hit in the head. Okay, this is an issue. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This guy is actually beefy enough to where I'm going to do... Where's he at? Although, you can still... Oh my gosh, come on. Ah, my back! I was about to say, I'm not even really sure what that attack is. And he's dead. Okay. Ugh. I haven't gotten to ultish yet, and I'm looking forward to Godfrey. He's definitely my favorite boss. Man, Melania is a worry for me. It's a it's a concern. <laughs> it's a real concern. I don't know. Godfrey, oh man. He was one of my favorite bosses until my... Um, Godfrey was one of my favorite bosses until my faith-only build... Because, oh my goodness, do you have to know every single one of his attacks to be able to get a shot off on him. Oh, it was so rough. And every time, like, I would get close and then I would die and I would be so mad and I didn't know what to do about it. Oh, man. It was rough. Still, though, I love the way that he changes. Uh, and his I love his fighting style in general, but I love the way it changes. 
uh, throughout the middle of the fight. You know, he gets that sense of strength. It's like, yeah, I don't need this no more. I'm going to fight like this. <laughs> Let's see. Bosses, bosses, bosses. So, that's a cave right there. What is that? There's a lot of these I've never fought before, like the small ones. And that was actually one of my goals. Was to learn more about all the bosses in this game. So that I could do things later like a deathless. I want to try a deathless all boss run. Which is what I, I tried earlier yesterday. Unfortunately, I got killed because uh, my controller died. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do love that. And he's got the suplexes and stuff. Oh, man. Um, no, mine was out of necessity. Mine wasn't, oh, I'm just going to let him kill me. Mine was, this challenge is, I mean, don't get me wrong. Faith only slaps. I mean, you were able to hit some absolutely ridiculous damage. But the amount of time it took per cast. Oh, my goodness. What is uh, this? I've limb grave tunnels. I've never been here. What the heck? Alright, I guess. Although, fighting every boss and try ed Editing this to get it into a... Oh, hello. Can I just... Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta see... Oh, uh, they're smithing ones. Never mind. So, they're not needed. Basically, is what we're saying. Um, I don't know. Overall, faith only. If you are patient and willing to learn boss movesets, faith is a really overpowered skill set. But, my goodness... Was it difficult? Uh, there... I know what you're talking about. Um, it's... Dragon Lightning... Something, something, something. But it's that thing that uh, you summon it down and it summons the storm. I do... I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, no, but... Uh, they are very overpowered. That's definitely something I can agree with. Oh, no. Oh, 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 go! Secret. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, this isn't the, okay, this is a dead end, that's why. Wait, this can't be a dead end. Ancient dragon lightning strike, yeah. This can't be a dead end. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I need to get out of it. Die. Aimbot. Okay. Oh, snap. Is... Where do you go? Where do you go? Is this actually a dead end? What? Okay, I don't know. I'll go back. That's weird. I've never seen an elevator like this go into a dead end. Unless there's not a boss. Oh, that's possible there's no boss in this. Yeah, oh, yeah that's possible, actually. I honestly didn't even think about that. So I still can't fast travel, still can't fast travel. <sighs> I'm going to have to go back up to the top. Definitely drop in later. Hey, man, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, man. That I really appreciate that. Uh, I'll probably be streaming later, to be honest, because I'm really enjoying this run right now, and I want to learn the rest of these bosses. Oh, I know there's a dragon over here, right? 
Um, and if you do come back, I'll, you know, I'll be welcome to see you. Uh, and if not, I'm thank you for joining this one. Let's see. I think there's a dragon over here because he drops down out of the sky. There he is. And his name is literally Flying Dragon. Oh, Yeah, I love the dragon uh, song. Oh, snap. Okay, we're good. Yep. Ow. Okay. Oh, see you, man. Hey, man, you have a good day. Let's see. I should be able to hit him from here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Easy. Oh, that was a great enemy. Okay. I don't know if it was because he was a dragon or what, but that was not that hard. Okay. So, you... I know there's one right here, because it, it drops... Uh, behind her is the... Um, oh gosh, what is it called? That It's that lady that gives you... Oh, actually, there's the... Hold on. I'm gonna go right here, just so that I can kill the... Knight's Cavalry up here as well. Perfect. Alright, there should... There he is, I see him over there. We'll deal with the Knight's Cavalry. Uh, we are... No, we didn't. No, we didn't already kill one. Um, that was on the Deathless run. We can go get this one... We can go down um, all the way as well. Here, let's drink this. Okay. That's interesting. Ooh. So headshotting the horse is really big. I mean, of course it is, because... Oh! Oh, snap! Okay, perfect. Because why would it not be big to headshot the, the thing he's riding? Perfect. Okay, can you just... Die. Thank you so much. Ugh. Enemies that move around a lot are a real problem for the bow. Uh, yes, they are. Uh, let's see. There's that guy. There is this one down here. Let's go ahead and handle him. Uh, this guy's actually going to be difficult because... Can I... Yeah, because of this. I remember his moveset, though. I remember his moveset. Luckily. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next on our list. Hmm. That's an Evergoal right there. Okay, let's do that Evergoal then. We'll head down there. I'm not really worried about this lady because she sells magic. And... Uh, no... Okay, where is it at? This way. Uh, then I think we just go down this path and jump to the right. And then if we defeat them, we should just ever go back. We can go down. Get the other Knight's Cavalry. Uh, we can get the tree. We can get the three tiers. 
I think there's a lion down here. No, no, there definitely is a lion down here. I, I remember him. Right? It's like a lion at the very bottom at a, a castle. As, that was a very random boss for me. Like, I mean, I remember my first time fighting him in my first playthrough. I was so confused at what was going on. I was like, what is happening? I just fought this guy and now I'm fighting a lion. I don't know what's happening right now. Let me see. Perfect. Enter ever goal. Uh, hopefully this guy is relatively easy. Oh, it's one of these guys. It's the fast movement guys again. Oh my goodness. And someone in my family is getting... He... Okay, hold on. Okay, we've got a stake of Marika. I just totally zoned out. Don't feel like losing that 35k. Let's drink the physic before we summon him. Maybe, you know. Because I guess I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. Well, it's not really difficult. It's just the fact he moves quick. And... Interestingly... He moves interestingly, to say the least. Yeah. And you have to dodge him late. Okay. So he's got a three attack pattern, it looks like. See, it would be helpful to know and learn these actual attack patterns. Ooh, out of the air. Ooh, got him out of the air. All right. That's another one. Man, he was way harder than 2200 runes. Don't even with me. And that's buffed. That's buffed. That's not even like the original of what he gives. Uh, we'll head down now. Especially since we, I need to... If I'm going to... I'm going to need to get the entire map. Especially since I haven't done all the bosses uh, before, I need to I need the map so that I can compare where the bosses are to the guide. Because you know we're gonna miss some bosses if I don't look at the guide. <laughs> Whoa! I also just realized I haven't been here before, have I? I normally always come down to this area. That's I need that. Uh, I normally always come down to this area to get the three tiers. So this is a first in uh, games like this where I actually don't. And it's because I don't have any HP or FP. Um, so I don't really, I didn't really have to worry about tiers too much. Okay. And I don't think it's nighttime, so I think we'll have to sleep tonight. Oh, actually, I need this. This is Mighty Shot. Just in case I end up using it on a bow, which would be ridiculous if I do, but... Okay. 
Lords of the Fallen will be... Oh, is that the DLC for Elden Ring? I had heard something about the DLC, but I hadn't actually seen anything about it officially. You know what I mean? I just knew, like, that it was coming out. Uh, I only have five of these. Let me get a sixth one. Uh... I guess I'll buy you. <laughs> um, no, I am actually hyped for it, though, to be honest. Like... Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting seeing what uh, the devs come up with afterwards. I just really hope they don't take it the way that they did. I don't know. I, 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 I'm excited to see it. No matter what, I'm excited to see it. And it's, it's really actually would be really funny if what you're talking about is not the DLC, but something completely different like a game or something. But... At the same time, uh, no matter what, I'm hyped for the DLC. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen anything official for it, but I haven't been looking. That's something that I probably should. I am rotting this guy on accident. Although, I wanted to see if I could rot him. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So it looks like we're going to kill the horse. Way quicker than we're going to kill this guy. Yeah, that horse is going down way before this uh, knight does. The way this guy attacks is different. And his horse doesn't really... Perfect. Okay, summon your horse. Crap. Ah! You can target the horse, you can target the person. Oh, what? I so had that. Okay. Die. Perfect. Alright. It's just another Souls-like game? Oh, but see, I knew... Do, do you know what the DLC is called? I need... I need to know the name of the DLC. I thought it was... See, that's what I was confused about as well. As I thought it was Shadow something. Uh, let me see. What did you say? Lords of the Fallen. I'll have to check that out. Um, I mean, I would be, I'd be really hyped for a new Souls game. Or Souls-like game. The only game in the, uh, of the kind of hard aspect that I have not played yet is Secure Shadows Die Twice. But that game, it doesn't really pique my fancy the same way. You know, although it is weird because uh, Elden Ring reminds me of a of a Dark Souls and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice mix. Definitely, it's weird. But um, I've never played Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Shadows Die Twice. Oh, that guy just sniped me out of the air. Um, no, but I am hyped for a new game, and I'm hyped for the DLC. You know, like a two and one. Let me see. Let me just kill this guy really fast in case he drops his bow. Oh, he did! What? Yo. That probably requires a, a stupendous amount of strength, though. It's not a DLC. Oh, man. Yeah, what is the... Is it Shadow of the Erd Tree? Is that what the DLC is called? Because I remember it was, the, it was Shadow of Something. It might be Shadow of the Erd Tree. I don't know, but I'm hyped for it all the same. Like, I'll keep that in my list. Uh, I'll go back and check this video out later. That's what I end up doing, is I'll mark videos that have 
oh my gosh, that have comments that I always want to keep, uh, like, recommendations and stuff for. Uh, so I definitely need to keep this one on check. Oh, man, that would be a really... I'm just... The only problem I have with new Souls games is I get worried. Because... I love the Souls games so much that my fear becomes... What if I play this, uh, like, a new Souls-like game and it's absolutely awful? Or I absolutely hate it? Because I have such high standards... Because the what is going on? Uh, I have such high standards because of how much quality I would say is in the Dark Souls games. Well, ah, uh, Soulsborne games. You know, Bloodborne, Dark Souls One. I mean, it's just they're all very. They hold a special place in my heart, so it's, if a game is pretty bad and it's a Souls-based game, I might not even acknowledge it. <laughs> Talking about you, Demon Souls Remastered. Talking about you. <laughs> um, it wasn't that bad, but it... Ah, dude, get out of my way! <laughs> Yo! Okay. Listen. And listen well. He attacks so delayed. He attacks so delayed. That is actually nonsense. That's some actual nonsense. <laughs> it's alright though. My stuff's right here. Um, when do I get my endurance to? 20 and then trying to get the HP up. I'm actually going to keep the souls for now. What was I? I just blanked for a second. I actually, I actually seriously just blanked for a second. Like, uh, skip that. Drop down here. Oh, is, isn't this a? It's either a whip or a flail. Nope. There's a whip or a flail somewhere. I think. Who knows? Okay, I think this is a talisman up here. Go, 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 go! Oh my goodness. Alright. I need... I'm pretty sure this is a talisman. Is this the... Plus... No, twin blade. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's... Not helpful at all. Okay, hopefully he shouldn't attack me till I get to the bottom. Dude, their attacks are so delayed. The whole, um... The whole, like set of enemies their just attacks are like a thousand like they'll they literally start to swing and about seven seconds later their blade comes into contact with the front of your face with the side of your forehead um there it is right there that's where the boss is and this was a heck of a run for one boss by the way like i i still hold true that if i wasn't exploring because it was my first time playing uh, if I wasn't exploring, I would have never... F There's the whip. I would have never found this boss if I wasn't exploring. Grace up here. Dogs are going crazy. Sit down at Grace. Ignore rat. Okay. Uh, we still haven't even hit the epitome of buffs, though. We could do... What is it? Golden Val... Does Flame grant me strength apply to... I know it applies to physical and fire damage. Alright. These enemies are so... Weird. They're so weird, bro. <laughs> Alright, hold on. No, 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 no. Get me in. Perfect. Leonine Misbegotten. Oh, he's an enemy that dodges. Oh. 
He is genuinely intimidating, though. Yeah, and he attacks so weird. Ah, oh, but he's got no HP. You gotta get more HP than that, buddy. Although, he was definitely meant to be fought way before anything that I'm doing right now, but... Woo! Alright. Grafted Blade, Greatsword. Okay. Uh, that's him. Is... No, that's just a tower, right? Yeah, that's just one of the towers. That's not an ever goal. There's never goal. There is an ever goal over there, though. So I'll go. Uh, try that. Okay. Next on our list, uh, we'll do the ever goal. But first, I want to kill this guy. Um, this tree, whatever his face is. Ugh. There is so much to this game, man. So much. It is interesting as well. Like, I don't know what their... I guess their thought process was, you know, when we add an open world game, we've got to add more bosses. And that's just a given, especially with how big the game is. But it's so different from the other Souls games. Like, the other Souls games, you don't normally have a choice. So that's probably why Elden Ring is considered one of the tops. It's for people who who like to make choices. And they like to... Um, you know. I don't want to do the game this way. I'm going to go this way. I don't want to fight this boss to progress. I want to fight this boss to progress. Uh, You know, the original Dark Souls games. Most bosses you have to kill. I mean... Take Dark Souls 1, for instance. What what are the only optional bosses in that game? Uh, Wait, well... Let me think. What are the... Oh, actually, instead of naming the optional bosses, we should name the bosses that you have to kill instead. So you have to kill the end boss, obviously. You have to kill each of the four souls. You have to kill... Ornstein and Smo. You have to kill the gargoyle and gargoyles and I forget what her name is. The lava lady, lava spider lady. You have to kill uh fire demon fire sage. You have to kill that other guy. Oh gosh. The guy, the scorpion dude that gives you the ring. Who else is required? Pinwheel. Pinwheel's required. Oh, uh, let's see. If you go for Seath, I don't think there's any bosses before Seath. And then there's. Who's the last guy? There's Nito, Seath. Uh, oh gosh, my my brain is blinking. Nito, Seath. Uh, oh, the four kings. That's right, the four kings. They're required. Oh crap. Oh. right now oh that guy just got wrecked yo oh crap i keep getting caught in this thing where the last shot when i'm using my ability i stop pressing l2 before my other stuff oh crap ah uh, yeah actually it was probably better to just take the hit right there okay die Done. Uh, there's nothing before the four kings, I don't think. Uh, 
Oh yeah, an asylum demon. And that's it, I think. I think. Uh, but you know, in me saying that's it, that's basically every boss there is. I mean, there's the painted world boss. Uh, was it Priscilla? I think her name is. Um, there's the asylum demon uh, under underneath. There's. Uh, who else is there? Obviously, there's a DLC, but it's DLC, so I'm not gonna count that just yet. That might be it, honestly. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Um, okay, so there's the choice between... You don't have to fight Gaping Dragon, and you don't have to fight... Uh... You don't have to fight Gaping Dragon, and you don't have to fight... That other guy that's got the twin swords. And he's got the two dogs in the arena. You can skip those guys. Or Moonlight Butterfly. But you do have to fight Sif. Oh man, it's it's weird how the how these bosses are coming to me. Like they're coming in, in waves. What boss is this? Ancient hero of Zammer? Okay, well it's another quick boss. Ooh, he's he's a he's a bit of a tanky boy. Okay. Okay, so when he does that attack, we can get three attacks off. I'm not, I'm not able to fast roll quick enough to get out of that attack. Okay, if you're close, you can get three attacks off on him there. What's he doing? Okay, he's powering up, I guess. So that's... That's that. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Ah! Immediately proceeds to catch me. Oh, this guy moves weird. He sort of moves like... It sort of reminds me of the... Oh, what's his name? Godric. Because, you know, Godric in his second phase does the... Um, the kind of forward and sideways dashes. Ooh, okay, we killed him. Along with taking a hit ourselves. That was not an easy boss. I gotta be honest. That was not an easy boss. Radagon Scar- That's how you get that! I didn't know that. I did not know that. Huh. See, I'm- This is one of the reasons I wanted to do this run. It allows you to learn... Uh, things that you wouldn't have known before. And I did not know that's how you got the Scar Seal. I know the Sword Seal is in the tower. We already got that. But, uh... Other one, that's an in interesting little thing. Okay. Let's flask. What does that put us to? Eight? I think that puts us at eight. That is a pretty good amount. <laughs> Considering the fact that we are probably never ever going to have enough HP. To where that's not going to fully heal us. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay. Who's next on the list though? Is the problem. I'm, I'm honestly running out of bosses that I know of. Let's see. Let's go ahead and... Start... Actually pull up a list... Of all of... Here, first off, let's do... All... Elden Ring... Bosses in... 
Limgrave. Oh yeah. Okay, so we've got the the Erdtree Burial Watchdog, Grave Warden Duelist, Stone Digger Troll. Uh. Grafted Scion. There's a Death Bird in. It's a Death Bird in Limgrave. Where's the Death Bird at? Although, it is possible that I haven't seen that because you only find those at night. Uh, okay. Well, let's head to which one was it that I've? Oh yeah, that I can. I know where the Erd Tree Burial Watchdog is. I think. Pretty sure it's in that first locale that I unlocked when I was getting mushrooms, like really close to the beginning of the game. Let's see. So, we'll just fast travel. There's got to be a boss or something over here. Like, what is... Hold on. Let me just... Really quickly. I know where, I know where our next guaranteed boss is. But there's got to be something over this way. Because I've never been down this way. What am I looking at right now? Oh. Okay. I'm not even 100% sure what I'm looking at right now. Okay, stand back up. Okay, so I gotta wait for him to do one more up. Okay. You... That guy dropped nothing. I thought he was gonna drop something. That's why I was even doing that. What's down here? Oh, good heavens. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, so we didn't see that, we saw nothing, and we're just gonna leave. So let's see, there's a house down here. What am I looking at right now? There's a shipwreck over there. A bunch of shipwrecks. Whoa, that's really cool. That's cool. I didn't I didn't know that. Um I guess that part never really made sense to me how they how people got to this island in the first place. Although is it like the thing from Demon Souls where you cross the land like, you die and you cross the land and you're like... I don't know. They they call upon you or something like that. It's something like that. I don't know. Let's see. I've never talked to this guy before. Material Leaf. About a one, oh, about the Wandering Mausoleum. Uh, yeah, I know about that. Don't worry. I just want to see if there's any bosses around here. Doesn't really look like it. But... I guess that's to be seen. Okay. I did not come all the way over here for a bunch of golden rune ones. Don't... Don't play with me right now. If I wrap around this corner... And there is nothing up here but this uh, tower... Then I'm going to be... Sad. I'm going to be very sad. Uh, 
Although this is the only way to learn. Climb. I didn't know which side was the the front. I didn't bother looking up. I just was like, oh, I'll find it. I'll find it. Ow. Okay. Why are you guys climbing up? We don't want to deal with this. Why did you... Okay. Oh. Uh... Where does this take us? Do what? Where the... Where am I at? Oh. Uh. Oh, is this where you get the do? Oh, this is where you get the do. The do drop, um... This is where you get the dewdrop talisman. It is. Oh. Oh, but this guy it's hard. Okay, perfect. This guy isn't even- is this guy even a boss? I don't think this guy's a boss. Or if he is... He's really bad at it, I guess. Oh, he's down. Can I attack his core? Oh, that's terrible. Uh. Okay, well, he's about to die anyway, so I, I'm just gonna kill him. I was under the impression he was a boss. Or this guy was a boss, I don't know why. And he's dead. 3,600 runes. Nah. Not a boss, just a waste of arrows. Blessed do? Yeah. Uh, that's a... Travel to somewhere, but it's not active. I'm assuming it will be when Langdell's capital... Yeah. Not able to fast travel. Do I have to sit down? I am able to fast travel. Perfect. So, Stormfront Catacombs. I know there's a boss in here. <sighs> I know there's one in here. Next on the list. Uh huh. I thought he was going to jump, but the fact I didn't see him jump is why I didn't dodge. Okay, I'm not- I don't really remember the puzzle on this one. Oh, yeah, dude, you just have to go up. Yeah, this isn't that bad. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Forgot there was fire, though. Pretty sure the fire. Give me a sec. I'll just run backwards. There's a switch you've got to pull somewhere. Yeah, it's we got to drop down for it. There you go. Alright. 
Do that. But I'm gonna go back down. I think there's stuff behind. Okay. I'm gonna need you to actually calm yourself. Ooh. Ooh. I think they won't run through the fire, I don't think. Oh, but he did. He did run through it. He's just not smart enough to know how to live. Okay. This thing. Perfect, I guess. Ah! Don't worry. I got it. <laughs> And we're just building up a steady supply of runes from killing all the bosses. <laughs> Honestly, they're probably just going to be used for arrows. I don't know if increasing stats at this point is worth it. Or if it is, it's going to be like HP to 25. Or 30. Endurance to 25. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, it's time for the bosses, <laughs> no, alright, Elder Ring bosses, Grave Orden Duelist inside the Murkwater Catacombs, Murkwater Catacombs, Murkwater, I've heard that before. Oh, yeah, it's along the coast. Right? Yeah, it's along the coast. Okay, I, I got it, I got it. I forget how to get there. Oh, that's probably this. Maybe it's this at the beginning of the game and then just to the left. Wow. Oh my gosh, you can see the sunken ship so well where there's no fog. That's awesome. Yeah, I think you just continue this way. And then it leads you to that island over there, right? Because you like go underground and then all the way through. There's also a the mining troll. I don't know how to get... To him. Or where he's at. I'll have to look. There is a turtle. That's a tortoise. Why is a tortoise on the beach? Uh, tortoises don't swim like that. Why are you on the beach? You're lost. Or it's a dog. Isn't it the, what the memes call them? Dogs? <laughs> My dog doesn't look right. You check on him. Let me see. Yeah, I can't remember. I think there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to do this. I'm not sure if you can miss the boss or not, though. No, I don't think you can. I know this just leads. Yeah, okay. Here it is. This is... Demi Human Chief. Kill one. We just keep him. <laughs> okay. Enemy failed. And then I think you just go all the way through, if I'm not mistaken. Because a lot of people would just go to this thing and leave. But I think you can... I don't know if there's a purpose for me in particular. I know there's a dragon thing over here. Where you can trade the, the dragon hearts in for stuff. But I don't think there's a purpose for me. Like a boss or anything. It's also crazy how far down we went. There we go. 
So, horse. Uh. No, it's not really looking like it. And a lot of these bosses seems... I also thought about it. A lot of these bosses seem super easy. When they're most likely not that easy. But I'm far enough in to where they're easy, I guess. Uh, we need the, the, the troll next. Wait. Okay, we're looking for... We've got him, Godric. Yep. Crucible Knight. Beast Man. Bell Bearing. Okay, so there's Stormhill and Weeping Peninsula's Deathbirds. They are. One in Stormhill, east of Warmaster's Shack, and another south of Kalu Baptismal's Church. So one is the to the east of this thing. Okay. I guess I just I just have to turn it nighttime and then find them. I guess. Uh, pass time until nightfall. Let's see. Not the Stormhill Shack. Uh, War Master Shack. So it's somewhere over here. Let me see. So somewhere this way, there's going to be a Death Bird. And this one drops the blue... Uh, blue Feathered. I think it's like when you're really low HP, you get extra defense which that's never made any sense to me because why why not just go full hp right like uh i don't I don't know where it's at. Uh, is it down there? Let me check over here real quick. No, this is in the middle of dragon or dragons, Pfft, giants. <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong thing. I'll just walk over here. I don't think they spawn. It is right here. You stupid goats. Ah! Okay. So, death birds are not that bad. As I get hit by a death bird. Uh, they're not really not that bad. I don't know. Especially ones that don't really have any abilities. Case in point. They really just kind of push forward trying to find or trying to get to you. And especially since we can get, hit them in the head, which is that damage increasing critical uh, thing, we should be okay. Whoa, bat! Oh, no longer, bat. Okay, goat. I am going to put you in the dirt. He is going to put you in the dirt. <laughs> At least I'm getting thin beast bones from this. Uh, Blue feathered branch. And there's another one. Uh, 
south of Kalu Baptismal Church. What is... The Kalu Baptismal Church. What is that? Is that this? No. It doesn't even say we're... Okay. Uh, if I add a... Let me do this. Death bird... And then I'll just get, pull up the locations. Map link. Perfect. If it's not going to pull up... Oh, wait. I could just do this. Wait a frick fracking second. I could just do this. Pull up to the interactive map. Virtual avatar. Okay. We've got a lot of bosses to go. <laughs> we got a lot of bosses to go. Uh, I, I found the way to pull that up on the map. That's good. Ooh, ooh, we do we have a long way. First off, looks like down here there's a boss next to the faith tier. I'm not, I'm don't think I'm ever gonna need faith, so I don't think I'm gonna grab the faith tier. I think there's a boss. Oh snap. In here. If I'm not mistaken. It's this thing. But that's not really a boss, per se. We're looking for the thing that goes into the ground, I think. I think it's in here. Perfect. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> there is no boss here. Only a shield of the guilty. So... Found inside the Tomb's Word Catacombs. Oh. It's... Legitimately right there. I didn't think there was a boss in that tomb. Or in those ruins. Oh wait, they're in the catacombs. Not the ruins. See, that's the difference. There isn't a boss in the ruins, but there's a boss in the catacombs. I just gotta find the catacombs. Okay, I don't know where the catacombs are. I suppose I'll find it. Yeah, because the ruins are just... Isn't it just like a... Sh yeah, there's just this guy. That's it. And yeah, this is the winged scythe. Which I don't really care about. Um. Maybe. It looks kind of here ish. Like towards these things. So it could be here. Oh, this is actually exciting. I'm trying to find like. Uh, the new boss entering stuff. Well, it is not along this wall. 
Unless it's... No, it doesn't look like it's here. Okay. No, okay. So, let's go to the beach. That's the only thing I can think of is the beach. Or it's under here, along this leftward wall. Oh, wait, is that it? What is that? That's it! Whoa! Hidden cave? Where does this go to? Tomb's word cave. This is a cave. This isn't even... This isn't even the same thing. This is... Okay. What is this? Oh my goodness. It's Poison City is what it is. Uh. Okay. I just totally weaved through that. Oh, this is the flower, isn't it? Bet it is. I bet it is the flower. Huh? Well, I mean, there really is no way to combat this except for to just just do it. I guess. Okay, wait, I don't know. Okay, just... Let's just get out of here. Pretty sure I just went that way. Go, 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 go. Ow! That hurt. Quit it. I think in the video, I'll do a checklist of every single boss. Ah, to make up for not doing it in stream. Yeah, that's what I'll do, but give me one sec.
goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Who's next? We've got... Who do we have next? Eat us on a shame. Next on the list... I gotta find out where the... Entrance to the... Thingy is. There's a possibility it's along this wall. How possible? I don't really know. Uh, because I went, I checked down from this side. Let me start looking like. Uh, hello. Can't drop down any farther here. Or here. Okay, but you can go around. What is this? Hey. Okay, you definitely can't make it to those. Are you supposed to... What are you supposed to do with this? Nothing? <laughs> like what what was this? Was this just them telling us it was here? Okay, hold on. So let's go around. And then we're gonna go down. Watch and learn. Hello. What was that? Warhawk Ashes. Okay. Uh, we get just close enough to that to be able to see. Assuming we just got to drop down, like here. I'm assuming this is where the catacombs are. If I'm assuming wrong, I don't care. <laughs> ah. Actually, that is a problem. Because there's nothing here. Maybe along the beach there is. No, it literally says it's right here. I mean, it literally says it's right there. I don't know what to say. Or am I, I tell myself, even. It's maybe up. Let's check up real quick. That's like the only thing I can think of is I'm being semi dumb. Oh, oh there you are. All right. We found it. Tombs word catacombs. 
Oh man. What are you gonna be? Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 9. I'll see what that makes in a sec. Uh, this is the door. It's time for puzzles. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you could get so lost in here. For sure. Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. Ho! Oh, hey! Oh. Ooh! That was close. Ah! Oh my goodness. Move, 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 move. Prattling pate, thank you. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. Where do I go? Up, maybe. Oh, got it. That's really cool, actually. I didn't know that. Okay. There we go. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you could attack those and it would shoot them down. I, there was another one I think that I saw that it would go down, but it would go down naturally. All right, buddy. All right, budster. Buckaroony. Stay down, buckaroo. Uh, what? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, this would be so much worse if he actually had the HP to be scary. Ah! Die. <laughs> Lutal the Headless. Okay, that was kind of garbage, but, you know, it's alright. Cemetery Shade. Next guy on the list. Demi-Human Queen. Okay, there's a Rune Bear. Somewhere over here. Optional mini boss found in the lower level of Earthbore Cave after leaping into a hole. Drops the spell, the original spell Drake Talisman. Okay, I got you. There's a Grace down there. Okay, the only know, the only way I know to get down there is to jump onto this thing. See. There's also a death right bird over here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure where it is, but I know it's somewhere. There's the grace. Okay, now we're looking for the cave.
It's at this thing. Looks like. Somewhere at the top of this thing. Okay. I'm assuming there's a cave to go down somewhere. Or not. Ah, oh, here it is. That's really hidden, though. Yep. That is really hidden. You would never know about any of these, I swear. Unless you were uh, looking it up like I am, you'd never know. You'd have no idea. Oh! Oh, I see. Assuming this leads back up and the left way... Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pickled turtleneck. I don't need the stam regen, I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I'm gonna be quite honest. Oh, I thought it said after falling down a hole, so I figured there wasn't going to be a a boss door, but I'm assuming there is. No, there's not. You just get thrown in. Ooh, he's aggressive. That's for sure. Okay. Alright. Listen to me. Listen here, buddy. Listen here, lad. You have to dodge too much with this guy. Like, it ends up using a lot of stamina that you don't even have. Dead. Whew. That's the regular spell Drake Talisman. Okay. Next on the list is... Scaly Misbegotten. Which I'm assuming... Here? I'm assuming you go into the cave. That you can see right there, and then it, uh... Goes deeper, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I have to take a look at how many bosses I fought, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's probably not a lot. What have I been streaming for? This is a six hour stream already. Oh, matey. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time in one stream. Although I do like to do it for you guys. For you guys, I enjoy streaming anyways. Like, just overall. You know, I mean, it's a good environment right now. I think I'd like to get all the limb gray bosses before I stop streaming. If Did my game crash, what happened? Obviously, it didn't crash. Just having trouble loading this last bit. How 
how it feels to be on PlayStation 4. Uh, so, am I going to have to just quit out of the game? I guess I'm just going to have to quit out of the game, guys. I don't know what's going on here. I guess the stream's gonna end a little bit earlier than expected because for some reason my game will just. not respond. Alright, I guess I'll see.